Are we live? Are we doing it? What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Getting Baked with Crystal, who's ready to get baked. <laughs> you crack me up when you do that. You don't know how to whistle. <laughs> What's up? How's everybody's day going? I'm not going to lie, a little bit exhausted, but I'm super excited to show you guys one of my favorite recipes, this cream cheese spinach artichoke dip. Um, if you guys don't already, please go follow Getting Baked with Crystal on Facebook. There's a page, there's a group. I post the ingredients there. Usually on Mondays, this week I was a little late. Last weekend was my super baking weekend. If you caught us live or I don't know if a vlog went up of it yet. Tons and tons and tons of baking from last week's episode on until Sunday at 2 a.m. And then I had to get up at 6.40 for work on Monday. So I have just not caught up on sleep yet. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Everybody super enjoyed the, the cookies. They're starting to show up at people's houses and I'm getting lots of thank yous and that's awesome. Did you enjoy it? I do enjoy it. Um, you know what? Friday is always very like, hmm, I have all these great big ideas of everything that I'm gonna do and these big plans and I have my lists and all this stuff going on. And then I get as much done as I can Friday, but it's not very productive. Saturday is my super like crack down, let's get everything done. And I'm still kind of like, oh, I've got, I've got good time going here. I, I can knock out a couple more things. And then I feel like this happens every year because I did this on Sunday. I got up on Sunday and was like, I only have a couple things to do today. I just have to dip some things in chocolate and cut up some things. I had to make the, the butterscotch candy, just a few things. I had one recipe start to finish and then just dip in some things. I didn't finish everything until 10 o'clock at night and I worked all day. I literally sat down for one hour the entire weekend. Blake and I sat down and watched a TV show. So that was it. I do enjoy it. I like baking. I have fun with it. I like making recipes. I like tasting the things while I'm making the recipes. I really enjoy bringing stuff to people and having them be excited about the things. And I, you know, my one friend loves the eggnog fudge. I made sure to send her eggnog, more eggnog fudge and got a text from her. She was super excited about that. My mom loves the chocolate covered pretzel. She was so excited to see extras in her box. So yeah, I, I do enjoy it. That's, that's all I have about that. So yeah, I'm exhausted. I am ready for a relaxing weekend. But first, let's make some spinach artichoke dip. So, <laughs> if you saw the post on Facebook, the recipe, like the, the quantities of ingredients that I post, that I posted, and that I use when I make this regularly are 50% of what the original recipe I found was. I made the original recipe and it's too much. If you're having a big party or something, double the amount that I posted. But Crystal, we're not allowed to party right now. <laughs> Way in the distant future. If you've saved this recipe because it's that good, you'll want to make We make it all the time. I found it a few years ago, made it once, and everybody loved it. I make it every Christmas Eve. We have a, a close family friend we go see every Christmas Eve we have since I was like seven years old. Um, I started bringing that every year for that. They look forward to it. Um, we made it on Thanksgiving. We've made it twice already. We had some last night. I, I still have a little bit of a blister burn on the roof of my mouth. Why? Because I can't wait for it to be done before I put it in my mouth. It has to cool down. Fair warning right now, and I will warn you again when it comes out of the oven, wait to put it in your mouth. It smells so good. It looks so good. It will burn the roof of your mouth. I burned the roof of my mouth last weekend when we made it, and I burned the roof of my mouth last night when we made it. I see Di say she's making the dip tonight. Awesome. Thanks, Di. I hope that you enjoy it. So the recipe I posted, we're going to call that the 50% version. That'll make an 8x8, 9x9 pan. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Oh. You're distracting me. Don't you know I'm doing a live show? Sorry, I'm watching the, <laughs> I'm watching this. Uh, hold on, I'll put it back on. I'm watching the security cameras from, uh, I just derailed your show. I'm, I yeah, try to giggle under my, what are you doing? I try to giggle under my breath, but I was watching the security camera and the cat's sitting out there just chilling in front of just the camera. Just standing there? Do you need to go bring him a scoop? Is I that do. live? I do. Go feed the porch cat. Sorry, I just, I giggled under my own breath. I didn't mean to. Derail the show. Derail. All right, so the ingredient quantities I posted, that's a 50% version of the recipe. That'll make an eight by eight or a nine by nine pan. I have also done it where I make it in two loaf pans and I posted about all this, but just in case you didn't see the post, um, just a regular, like what you make banana bread in, just make it in that or whatever equivalent to that size that you have. Um, the quantity that's posted on there will make two of those. It will also make four mini loaf pans if you happen to have that. That's what we did for Thanksgiving and that's what we did this last time we made it as well. Tonight, because I'm going to make it next week on Thursday and I don't want to keep it in the fridge that whole time because it's all kinds of cheese, I'm going to make 50% of that. So I'm going to make the quarter recipe. I'm dipped out. You can leave. I'm done with you. You set everything up. You, you can totally go. Sounds good, boss. Okay, bye. <laughs> Clock out. 
Go home if you can't find something to do. So for us, I'm gonna make the 50% recipe. I will tell you guys, wait, I'm gonna make 50% of my recipe. I will tell you guys the correct quantities and let you know what I'm doing, but I just wanna make sure everybody knows you can scale this down. If you're making it just for yourself and you have some mini loaf pans, make it with half of what I posted and it'll give you two loaf pans. You can have one right then, have one a few days later. Just throw it in the fridge, it keeps. We had some last night that we made last weekend. I think I made it Sunday and we ate it last night and it's fine, it, it keeps. What is going uh, can on? Can we go one, in one more time, real quick? What are we making? We are making cream cheese spinach artichoke dip, or cheesy spinach artichoke dip, or spinach dip, whatever you want to call it. I like it with spinach and artichoke. You can probably leave the artichoke out if you don't like artichoke. I feel like you don't really taste it. There's not a whole lot in it. You chop it up. Um, super chat from Helen who says, Hi, Crystal and Dan. Woo! And <laughs> she wooed for you. Mm. Hope you're. <coughs> Sorry, choking on my spit. Hope you're doing well. Glad you've got more confidence in front of the camera, Crystal. So been enjoying your segments. Keep up the great work. Awesome, thank you. It is getting a little bit easier. You know I'm awkward with this, but you guys are really awesome. I feel like we're building a really, really friendly and encouraging community and that helps. So, Dai says she's doubling it. Yeah, you have a, a bigger family than I do. So yeah, absolutely just double it. The original recipe calls for it and I believe it's a 13 by nine. It just says a casserole pan. So I think it's 13 by nine, but whether it's thicker or thinner, it's still good. It's still gonna cook evenly. Um, it gets crispy on the top. So if you like that crispiness, you'll wanna like spread it into a pan that's a, gonna make it a little bit thinner. Um, if you don't so much care for that crispiness, you can undercook it just a little bit so you don't get too much. I like to throw it in an extra two minutes or so so it gets extra crispy on top. Um, but it's good either way, no matter what you do. All right, so let's get started. First thing is going to be um, the original recipe I posted calls for five ounces of frozen spinach. I never measure this. We just got a kitchen scale last week. So the bag I get is 16 ounces. So I usually just throw it on the counter and just kind of do one of these where I chop it in thirds visually and kind of try to eyeball it. Um, I'm actually gonna measure it this time because I wanna know how much, I'm gonna, I'm gonna weigh it so I can then measure it and then know how much is in the recipe. So maybe in the future, it'll be a little bit easier for me. Um, it says to have your spinach thawed. I forgot to take it out. I usually forget to take it out. So I just microwave it till it's a little bit soft. You're gonna cook it in the oven. It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be all the way soft or thawed or anything. But Crystal, your scale's not teared. It's not, cause I'm not there yet. I wouldn't want you to put any more ounces than you need. <laughs> Okay, so original recipe is five ounces. I'm gonna do 2.5 because I am cutting it in half. Pretty darn close. Hmm. How is it that you're accurate on weighing this stuff? But Don't short it a half a gram either. I'm watching you. I'm watching, you better not short it a half a gram. That's probably good, that says 2.5. So I'm gonna microwave it and then I'm gonna throw it into a measuring cup just so I can see how much it is. I wanna update my recipe that's in my cookbook so that maybe in the future I can just weigh it. Uh, Becca wants to know if we got um, her wedding invite yet. I have, I'm sorry, I, I meant to ask, answer, ask, answer you, but she was talking because it's, well, <laughs> it's just her show. Um, no, not yet, I was at the P.O. Box today, so um, the next P.O. Box trip is uh, Tuesday. I'll try it again then. It's green, that's, that's what it that is, looks that's like. spinach. All right, so I'm just gonna microwave that for 30 seconds. The next step is, so it calls for a seven ounce jar of artichoke hearts. Mine's 7.6 ounces. Whatever you can get that's closest to seven ounces. I already used half of this when I made a half of recipe last time. Um, so I have a half a can. Again, if you're cutting the recipe in half, just use half a can. What are you doing? I am draining the liquid out of it because you don't want extra juices in it. Sarah said, did you get my Christmas card yet, Dan? Yes, today I did. Oh my God, Sarah, that's the funniest Christmas card I've ever seen. I literally laughed out loud when I read it. That was hilarious. And then she told me that she was gonna tell you this exact thing. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I said, I have to tell her I literally laughed out loud. Literally. All right, let's see if this is soft enough. So what do you think that is, like half a cup? Of what? Spinach. You you measured it. No, I weighed it. And it didn't tell you how many cups? No, it told me how many ounces. How come I can't type in spinach and it won't tell me how much cups it is? Oh, you know, I've tried doing that and I can't find the correct ratio. A ratio? No, just a ratio. Yeah. 
Are you getting in close on my spinach I'm dropping on my counter? Yeah, I waited. Yeah, is this annoying? Do you want me to just put the camera back, everybody? Um, or do you guys like it kind of zoomed in like this so you can see what's going on? I can't tell. But I could just put it back on the stand like it usually is. You let me know. Sarah said she's uh, glad it made you laugh. I'll try to also oh, yeah, look over at the chat, but it's hard. At some point, we have to grab that and show everybody because that is hilarious. Okay. My voice might not be explaining how hilarious it is, but that's because I'm exhausted. So, yeah, just know that I laughed out loud like four hours ago when I was much less exhausted. Right on. All right, so that's a little less than half a cup. So I would say if you're not weighing it and you don't want to eyeball it, maybe about a cup of spinach if you're doing the full recipe. That'll probably balance out pretty well. Okay, so I like the taste of spinach. I do not like the texture of spinach. So I always, anytime I make a recipe with spinach, I throw it in the food processor. I want it in little bits. I don't want stringy bits in it at all. Can we do it over here away from the mic, please? Absolutely. Okay, this is your warning to turn down your microphone. <laughs> the food processor is the loudest part of the kitchen. I still have to put some things in here, so okay. don't, don't And quite... then we'll tell you when to turn it down. And then Crystal will give you a thumbs up. <laughs> when, when it's, it's safe to come back. When it's safe to come back. There's nothing in there. Is no, that I'm scraping the bits so I'm not wasteful. All right, so half a cup of spinach air. That's the <laughs> finest air of it all is spinach air. Shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, I make the best spinach air. Brittany with the super chat with the little Kamiko face. Thank you, Brittany. Welcome to spinach land. I was looking on Instagram yesterday and the on the cats page and looking at the, the insights because I have it as a business page so you can see like the performance of posts and stuff. The best performing post, it goes back two years. It won't do all time, but it goes two years. The best performing post was Kamiko, the one where you let her outside and she ran across the yard and then you chased her and then petted her a bunch and then ran back again and then she sat there for like a full 30 seconds minute. I don't know, I'm really bad at time and then darted over to you. So Kamiko's Instagram's favorite too. She is. So you want to put this, the artichokes you definitely want to put in a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you could probably just chop it up fine, but you probably don't want entire, what are they, leaves of oh. artichoke. Um, if you're making the full recipe, you may want to cut this in half depending, uh, the amount that you're putting in the food processor. You may want to do it in two batches or do it separately. Um, I like to do it together when I'm making a smaller batch of it so that my food processor will function properly. Uh, Chris said, turn down the what? The volume on your microphone when we turn this Not off. Not on your microphone, on but your speakers. we have to say it. Turn down the what? <laughs> <laughs> so the food processor is going to go on in like 10 seconds. It's going to be really loud. If you have headphones in, you're going to learn to hate me. We're going to get an extreme food processor close up. Whoa! Whoa! You're so weird. Whoa! I have to be Wayne and Garth in that skit. All right. Volume's down. Thumbs up when the volume's uh, okay to turn okay. back up. Turn it down. Food processor suck? No, it's because I have so little food in it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's probably good. Oh, I need to get my cream cheese out. Uh oh, you better get your cream cheese out. I can get it. Steve's here. Hey, sorry, Emily. I was just trying to get this photo shoot done and ran late. Your dogs behave. I can't get the cats to do anything photo wise, they just don't behave. Uh, and it's not that they don't behave. They're behaved fine. They just do what they want. Didn't you get me cream cheese? You were sent to the store to get me cream cheese. Did you not get me cream cheese? Uh-uh. Seriously? Uh-huh. Dan! We're doing a cooking show! Well, I didn't know you... I asked you if you needed something. I thought you got cream cheese when you went on, like, Monday. Do you want me to go get cream cheese? If you want me to make spinach dip. All right. Off to go get cream cheese, I go. Hi ho, hi ho. Well, cream shoot. cheese, I go. I was gonna get that Aldi, and then I was supposed to get it later in the week when we got sour cream, and then you got sour cream, and I just didn't think about it. 
Don't send Dan to get your groceries, guys. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Di, because I know you're baking along with me. I don't know if anybody else is, but... Here, throw the sour cream away and have Caleb go get you some, or some uh, what am I buying again? Cream cheese. Cream cheese. And then you'll be caught up with us. Dude, I'm so sorry, you guys. This is clown shoes. Hey, it's not that bad. <laughs> it is. Like, it's I'm, I'm mid-cooking show, and I don't have a main ingredient that I can't replace with anything else. Oh, Chris has cream cheese. Don't bother. He'll be here in six hours. Okay, do you know what you're getting? I'm getting cream cheese. Not light, not low-fat. Philadelphia cheese cream. It can be Stater Brothers brand. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I guess I just have to put this aside. And then we'll get back to that. <laughs> I could bring almond extract too. You're never gonna let it's me lay that the down. Are you? The right car. Um, my car's almost out of gas. So? Okay, I'm just giving you a heads up. Bye. <laughs> Shall we make some cranberry shortbread bars? I guess. Let me grab the computer because that recipe's on there. I don't have a mask. <laughs> Helen says I should write it on your forehead so you don't forget. <laughs> You'll have to ask other people. What do I have to buy? Can you tell me what I forgot at the store? Oh man, I'm having a really hard time because up until Dan started working from home, I took care of all the house stuff. I did all the grocery shopping. I planned out all the meals and did the everythings. And now Dan's home and it's so much easier to just send him during the day. Like if you had the choice to go to the store at 11 in the morning or five o'clock when everybody else gets off work and goes, you'd go at 11 in the morning. So I just give him a list. And you guys have seen it when he's live streamed from the store. He has no idea what he's doing. He doesn't know, he, look, he knows food. He knows things, but he doesn't know the brands that we get. He doesn't know what's a good price. He doesn't know his way around the store. So he can't be efficient. And I try to organize the list like, Here's all the milk and dairy products together. And here's all the frozen stuff together on the list. I'll rewrite a list so that I can put it in order that'll make more sense to him. And he still struggles. He sends me photos every time he goes to the grocery store. No joke. Let me see if I can find some text messages here. So this was when he went to the store to get the cheese. And I told him there was eggnog ice cream and he went and found my eggnog ice cream. See, there was one he went earlier in the week and it just shows me every single thing he's gonna get just to make sure it's the right thing. I sent him a picture of the artichoke hearts. That was at 9.51 a.m. at 10.01, 10 minutes later, he sent me a picture. Instead of just referencing this picture to make sure that was the right one, he sent me a picture to make the right one or make sure he got the right one because that's how he works. and. He, he thinks he has the right thing all the time. Oh, one day it was, I think I sent him for mozzarella and he sends me a picture of like, it's on the, the belt. He's ready to check out and it's like mild cheddar or something. Like he just saw the M and was like, that's the cheese. So yeah, it's been really hard for me to not be in control of the grocery shopping and stuff. I see I missed a super chat from Brittany who said, this is amazing and so real. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it. I. I have a little bit of panic. I'm having a moment like when I put the almond extract in the sugar cookies, just like, this is not how it's supposed to happen. It's stressful enough if I'm just making something on my own. I'm like, oh man, I don't have the ingredient. It's really stressful when I'm doing a live show and there's people watch. There's 86 people watching right now and I'm missing a basic ingredient on what was supposed to be a really simple recipe. What am I doing? Leaving Dan in charge. <laughs> Charlotte says, Dan usually gets distracted in the toy aisle. Yes. Crystal, I hope he doesn't forget the cream cheese and get candy instead. That's a viable possibility. That could absolutely happen. Oh, yes, I can absolutely show you guys the car. Hold on one second. Tell me that's not the funniest Christmas card ever. Like, we usually get cards with cats. People know us, we like cats. People will get us cards with cats on them. They're not usually this funny. This is real life right here. This kind of stuff happens. <laughs> that, that was hilarious to me. Oh, Amanda, yes, it is a good time to just breathe. <laughs> I dare you to take five deep breaths. <laughs> I don't know that the anxiety, the anxious person that I am will allow me to stop and take breaths. I'm just like constantly, on to the next thing, let's do the next thing, what needs to be done? 
Liz says, I text my brother pics of items to make sure I'm getting the right item. Yeah, when you're shopping for somebody else and like, they're, they like the thing. If you don't care, like my mom doesn't care. My mom will say, get me some sour cream. I can come with any package of sour cream. She will not care. I'm like, look, if you're getting cream cheese, it can be Philadelphia brand or Stater Brothers brand, but you need to check the price and see which one's a better price. Check per ounce, you know, make sure you're getting a comparable thing. I don't want fat free or low fat. That's awesome if you do. I don't like to change the flavor or screw up with anything. Dive, the oven needs to be set to 400. Um, yeah, and I think we could probably just hang out and talk while Dan gets this. It's really not that far away. Okay, oven is to 400. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, he'll be back in 10 hours. Yeah, I hope not. Uncle Yukon says, lots of times I'll take a sample part of what I want to the hardware store and a piece of package, to, piece of the packaging to the grocery store. Yeah, I always send Dan pictures. Anytime it's something he's not sure about, I send him for chicken burgers one time. So the vegetarian chicken burgers, to me on my grocery list, I put C-H-I-K apostrophe N. I know that's vegetarian because it doesn't spell chicken. It's chicken. Dan doesn't know that. So I needed chicken burgers. I wrote it down on the list, C-H-I-K apostrophe N. He came back with a bag of regular chicken burgers, which they did not need because the boys already had chicken burgers. So yeah, I have to be very specific and pictures do help. Absolutely. Uh, Sarah says, I came to your channel through Gone to the Snow Dogs. I'm just here for the atmosphere. I think that's kind of why everybody's here. This, this isn't so much like, oh, I'm going to sit down and watch your YouTube video and be entertained. I mean, I hope you guys are entertained. But like, there's a community here. If you guys are in the chat, like get to know each other. I notice when we start, like 10 minutes before we start the show, we'll pull the chat up. And I notice everybody's saying hi to each other. You guys like all know each other from all over the world and say hi to each other. That's great. I love it. Feeling like a fool was watching on my TV this moment with just the thumbnail and realized I should probably exit then enter again. Oh, yay. Now you can see everybody. Um, Di, yes, you can clean up the food processor. We are not going to use it again. Everything else is going to be mixed in a mixer. Um, or you can mix it by hand if you're that kind of adventurous. I'm not. Um, yeah, I think most of you guys came here through Gone to the Snow Dogs, so that's awesome. Jess is a good friend of ours. <laughs> Chris says I should get started on the bacon-wrapped filet. Oh, I forgot the bacon! So sorry. Yes, Brittany, we are a family. It's awesome. I really, really appreciate what the community on Facebook is. I love everybody posting their recipes and talking about, um, you know, what kind of flavors they like and stuff. I think was, oh, forgive me if I'm wrong, was it Brittany who made the, you called them Russian tea cake cookies that I've heard and call uh, Mexican wedding cookies. They're also snowball cookies. Somebody else posted today or yesterday calling them walnut something. That's like the same cookie but with so many variations. It's basically some sort of shortbread -y type cookie with some sort of nut in it and either a vanilla or almond extract and then rolled in uh, powdered sugar. So it gets kind of a, almost a glazy thing on the outside of it. Um, but there's so many different variations and everybody's like, oh, I love this and I love this and I love this, but it's all pretty much the same cookie. And it's funny that we all have, like that's one of our favorites, but it's all just a little bit different. <laughs> no, Chris, don't message Dan to grab bacon, too. You know, it's funny, as much as, like, people... Bacon has become a thing that people just love. Like, wrap everything in bacon. When I got all that meat from work, I don't know if you guys watched the vlog and saw that story that um, my boss purchases animals from 4-H, the kids that raise the 4-H and put their animals up for auction, which just breaks my heart as a vegetarian. But it happens. What am I going to do? It's already happening with or without me. Then he brings the meat to work and everybody gets to divvy it up. The one thing Dan said is, don't get any bacon. I don't want bacon. He's over bacon. So that's interesting to me that that's supposed to be the meat that, like, especially men really, really love. Samantha says, I love watching Dan and Jess's videos. Dan's funny when he goes out there because it's so much stuff he's never seen or done before. It just cracks me up. Megan says, I love the baking show. I came here because of Dantix. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we've kind of just dominated your guys' weekend. I mean, we don't require that you be here, but we really appreciate that you guys are here two nights in a row. If you're just joining us, yeah, we are making spinach artichoke cheese dip, but we don't have the cheese. So Dan's at the store grabbing the cheese. I'm sure this is a typo, but I love that Becky said, hi, Crystal and dad. <laughs> Dan can be your dad. You can have him. He won't like get up and make you Sunday breakfast or anything, but he'll eat your Sunday breakfast. 
If you guys haven't already, I see there's 90 people here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Can you just hit that thumbs up? If you like what you're watching, if you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. Be honest, I don't care. I'm, uh, my feelings won't be hurt. I might let you know if you want to say something about something. I'll, I'll defend myself, but hit the thumbs up. Uh, Megan says, I forgot to post a picture of my brownies again and they tasted like lava chocolate cake. That sounds delicious. I love chocolate lava cake. We've gotten it at restaurants and stuff. Blake loves it. One year he asked for it for his birthday. I can't make chocolate lava cake. I don't have those skills. I don't know if I just haven't found the right recipe or what, but I can't make it so it's lava inside. I can make a good chocolate cake, not lava cake. Shannon's watching tonight and going to make Christmas Eve when we have a bunch of appetizers and play Charlie Brown Christmas bingo. That sounds fun. Oh, Charlie wants to know what I'm baking next week. Next week is Christmas. We will not have a show next week. I, we debated on it, but we go out to my mom's house like in the afternoon, like early afternoon. Um, and we have dinner over there and everything. By the time we make it home, it's pretty late. I don't really want to ruin, you know, our family time with my mom by, you know, saying, oh, I have to go home and make my baking show. You know, th that's more important than this. So you guys enjoy your Christmas with your family. Um, well, I think... We'll have to check with Dan. I think we're doing Dantix on Saturday night. So you'll still have that. And then I know that Dan went live on Facebook today. If you guys were in there and saw it, he was talking about, and he and I have talked about it and haven't solidly laid anything out, you know, on paper, but we are going to do, and we've done it the last few years, a New Year's Eve live stream. We sit at home. We One year we had a party and like three people came. So I don't go through that effort anymore. All our friends have little kids. They don't want to be out late at night, even though it is New Year's Eve. So no, we just hang out at home on New Year's Eve and chill out. Usually we'll watch like Seacrest or whatever's going on. But the last few years we've done live streams and we've had a lot of fun with it. You guys seem to have a lot of fun with it. Um, I want to do the Jackbox games. We have a lot of fun with that. You guys can join in on your phone. So we'll do that. Um, probably some Mario Kart and stuff. So next week, no baking show, but we'll probably do, is it Thursday is New Year's Eve? We'll do Thursday night, Friday night. Um, Friday, we're going to do a little bit early. Friday night, we're going to make, afternoon-ish, we're going to make something. I believe we may have a special guest that day. And then Saturday, we'll do Dantix as well. Um, I see a super chat from PJ and Fan Vlogs. What's up? Oh, uh oh, Dan is calling. Hold on. Hi, what's going on? Put me on speaker. You're on speaker. Uh, do you want to see some Taco Bell? No, don't get Taco Bell. Get cream cheese and come home. How about I'll play on love? The line's a little long. Cream cheese, Dan. We're literally like mid recipe. Right, but you know, like it's like cream cheese. Pretend Steen's making it, and it's just like. You know, it takes a long time. Dan, you better be pulling up in the driveway. <laughs> no, I'm actually making a left turn here by the Walmart, and I'm heading, like, I'm leaving, like, the Aldi parking lot. So I'll be there in, like, a minute. You're on your way home. Yes, I did stop at, like, two red lights. <laughs> Don't die. Okay, bye. Hurry, bye. All right. Anyway, hopefully he got the right stuff. Um... Okay, PJ Super Chat. He says, Happy Friday. This is entertaining. Just got back from a drive to Claire, Michigan. You're always going somewhere. Made a fun vlog of Christmas lights. That's awesome. I am planning on making my homemade baked mac and cheese for New Year's. We'll post picture. Yes, please do. I am actually on the hunt for a new uh, mac and cheese recipe, but I'm really picky about mac and cheese. So what happened was the guy that I dated all through high school and college, his mom was really awesome at cooking and baking and everything. She's part of the reason like I was inspired to make things and started like, I can do that. And then I did it and I'm pretty decent at it. So I kept doing it. She made the best macaroni and cheese. I never got the recipe before we broke up. So I've been on the hunt for that. I'm trying to replicate it, but at this point it's been like 25 years. So I don't really remember. Yeah, it's like 20 years. I don't really remember what it was, but I have one that I make now that's really cheesy, but not creamy and then crispy on top. But lately I'm just not happy with it. The breadcrumbs on top are too breadcrumby and it, I need to find something else. So let me see what you got. And then maybe I'll ask you for your recipe. Chris likes spinach artichoke dip, but I'm not a fan. So I'll watch and see if I can quarter the recipe and make a small one for him. Yeah, you totally can. I absolutely love spinach artichoke dip. Um, we get it a lot of times in the yard house. That's my favorite is the yard house spinach artichoke dip. This might have been like a replication of that recipe or something. I don't recall, but that's the best one. 
Oh, Crystal says, Katie made me watch you guys and Jess, but it was Katie that got me to enjoy you guys four years ago. That's awesome. Katie's been watching us forever. She's awesome. She's super loyal to us, and that's great. Um, yes, we do enjoy, deserve to enjoy our Christmas. Um, it's A lot of it's for my mom. You know, my mom, this time last year, was it last, no, last year? So I have, I guess it's my stepbrother. My mom wasn't married to his dad, but he was in the family for a bunch of years. My mom's not with his dad anymore, but he's a little bit older than Blake, and he can't come home for Christmas this year, and my mom's kind of heartbroken about that. So we're going to try to make it extra special for her. I bought my mom. Hey, Mom, if you're watching, can you just turn it down a little bit? I got her nothing but stuff for her kitchen this year. That's it. Just stuff to, to make her kitchen experience better. My mom got an Instapot and she's been making awesome Instapot meals and, and learning how to up her, her microwave skills. So yeah, just trying to just level her up a little bit. <laughs> Everybody asking, I'm a little behind on the chat, bear with me. I had to answer the phone, but I see people asking about if Dan uh, asked if he got the right stuff. I don't know, he didn't send me a picture. Uncle Yukon says, I'll have to do a show about cooking pork chops so I can eat good finally. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. That'll have to be a Dan, Dan cooking show where he makes the meats. Oh, Helen says, hopefully Dan told you I'll be sending something for both of you. That's awesome. He did tell me you were sending something. He didn't mention there was going to be anything for me. There should be something coming to you soon, Helen. I don't know how long it takes to get there because you're like on the other side of the world, but it should be on its way. Jordan wants to know what I went to college for. Um, I just got a, an associate's degree and I majored in psychology. So I haven't really done anything with that other, learn how, other than learn how to deal with Dan. You, you got twice as much as I needed. <laughs> Sometimes this happens where Dan just gets all kinds of things. Look, I had to shove a little lady out of the way. I ran over two kids <laughs> on the way there, but it's okay. I ran over three criminals on the way back. So uh, plus one to me. <laughs> Good deal. Wow, I, that lady, I mean, like, there's nobody in, at all in that aisle except for standing in front of the cream cheese. <laughs> I don't know what she was thinking about. Probably like George Burns. All right, back at it. Di, hopefully you're done. If I go too fast for you, Di, obviously at this point I'm not, but if I go too fast, let me know. Oh, I almost made it. Oh man, that was a lot. You don't understand, like I was turning the corners and it was making Starsky and Hutch noises. Yeah, I hope you took your car, not mine. No, I took your car. Did you really? Yeah, because there's time to change of cars. <laughs> I floored it. I'm like, please don't let it be a cop. Please don't let it be a cop. Please don't let it Dang. be a cop. Dang. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Everyone was laughing and waiting to see if you were going to send a picture to see if you got the right stuff. Oh, okay. So, where are we at? Four ounces of cream cheese. Die. if you're making the... Oh, wait. You're doubling it, so you're going to use eight ounces? You do the math. My recipe originally calls for four ounces of cream cheese, so I'm going to use two ounces. It's probably better if it's a little bit soft, but because it's going in the oven, it's not really that big of a deal. Courtney said, getting baked with Crystal, the return of Dan. So I have to be getting baked with Dan. Whew. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. I flew into that Aldi parking lot. I wish I would have known that you hadn't gotten it. I thought that I told you. Um, yes, Brittany, it does seem like so little cheese, but remember I am cutting this in half. So all that I am gonna cook is two little mini loaf pans. So there's more cheese. There's mozzarella and Parmesan that are going in it. This is just the amount of cream cheese. The original recipe that goes in a casserole pan takes the entire block of cream cheese. So don't worry, it's plenty cheesy. Hey, can you take that? All right. Yes, Brittany, there will be lots more cheese. Okay, so we are done with the food processor. I can plug this in. Are we in place? Okay, spinach artichoke in the food processor. So in the mixer, original recipe, you're gonna blend. Okay, here's the other thing. It calls for a cup of shredded mozzarella parmesan blend. My store doesn't sell a mozzarella parmesan blend, so I would have to make that myself. I like the mozzarella a little bit more than the parmesan, so I don't do like a 50-50 blend. I do a little bit heavier on the mozzarella. grabbed everything out so I don't have to go back and forth. So full recipe, full 50% the ingredients I posted, calls for 
three quarters of a cup is gonna go, okay, so you have a cup in total, a quarter cup of that you're gonna reserve to use to go on top. So three quarters of a cup is gonna go into your mixer right now. I think I'm gonna do that in the measuring. <laughs> I'm gonna do it in this so that I can blend my two cheeses together. So I'm gonna do, okay, let's see. It's three quarters of a cup, so I need one quarter plus a half a quarter. So I'll do a quarter of a cup of the mozzarella. I don't know if that's gonna work. I might have to get a regular measuring cup. Are you monitoring my chat at all? That's what your job is. Is it? Uh, Samantha with the super chat, do you have a cheese roll recipe? What's a cheese roll? Yeah, I'm not sure what a cheese roll is. Like a dessert? Like a cream cheese type thing? Or like cheese bread? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Let me know. Yes, and thank you for the super chat. Just loves okay. trains. She's like, let's get the super chat train going! <laughs> Woo! She was on a train once. Woo! Let's see what a cheese roll is. It's a picture of me! So, oh, no. this isn't baking, it bakes in the oven, but this isn't baking where it's like chemistry and it's a science and it has to be exact. You can throw a little extra cheese in there if you want. You do whatever you want. The recipe calls for one clove of garlic. I don't know anybody who's ever just put one clove of garlic in anything, but I'm Italian, so I will not be using one clove of garlic. I like my stuff garlicky. Right? <laughs> okay, uh, I guess one of these is a cheese roll. I could maybe this? Yeah, cheese roll. Okay, so. Oh, that looks fun. However you want to blend your ratio of mozzarella and Parmesan cheese, three quarters of a cup is gonna go in here. Again, I'm cutting that in half because I'm not making quite as much here tonight. I'm done with that. Can you put that in the fridge, but wait, this too? Oh no, wait, I need this for the top. It's okay, stick it in the fridge too. Okay, so that and ugh, the spinach artichoke mixture is gonna go into here. Oh, I should have told you, Di, if, if your garlic's not chopped already, you should chop your garlic. Um, I have a really cool tool for, tool for that. I will show you guys that in just a moment. So, cheese, spinach, artichoke goes in here. What are you munching on? Snacks of baking past. Ooh, can I have one of those in my mouth? Are you touching all of them uh -huh. with your dirty store hand? I washed them, but yes, with my dirty Dan hands. <laughs> well, that shut you up. Yeah, that's my butterscotch candies. Those are really good. All right. <laughs> you just mix that just for a minute, not even a full minute, just till it's mixed. You could do this by hand if you wanted to. I don't like to. Dice said she already chopped. Awesome. Brady says, I'm learning about dip. Woot, dip's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, just not dip. If not for the detour to go get cream cheese, this is a super fast and easy recipe. Yeah, my bad. All right. Everybody, everybody talking about all their snow. I'm envious. Yeah. This yeah. time last year, we were getting snow. We got a ton of snow on Thanksgiving and on Christmas last year. Like two inches? But for that's a, that for <laughs> us, that's a ton of snow. Yeah. Let me fridge that. All right, so next step is going to be to chop my garlic. And then it was questionable whether I had the right of way or not. <laughs> Are we still talking about this? I held the cream cheese out the window and I'm like, we're baking live! <laughs> okay, garlic. So, we got this. I'm going to add this to the kit because I don't think it is on there yet. This is our little garlic chopper that we have a garlic press and all it does is squish the garlic into liquid and it's awful and I hate using it. It just makes a mushy, disgusting mess. So, we got this. I took a chance on it. I think it was like 12 or 13 bucks on Amazon. Best garlic chopper tool ever. It's not perfect, but it's the best tool and I have to chop it by hand. It's fast. Oh, it is super fast. So the bottom pops off and it has this little thing to peel your garlic. I'll show you how that works in a minute. 
It pops open. Ew, you didn't clean this very well. Is it not camera ready? No, it is not. It I mean, I guess it was just garlic in it there. It stays in there. I try to blast it out with my pressure, and it just, like the pressure washer part. So, it has the one where you can cut it into little bitty squares, and it has where you can cut it into slices. I like it into little bitty squares, so I usually use that one. So let me show you guys how easy this makes chopping garlic. Normally when you do it by hand, it takes forever. It makes your hands all like garlicky for three, four days. <sighs> Firm garlic. All right, so let's see how big these are. That should be enough. Like I said, it calls for one. I never use one. PJ wants to know what this is going to be served with. Um, I guess we'll show you at the end, or is that... No, I can talk about it. I posted um, on the Facebook page, but I'll go over it. Um, I like it with pita chips or pita bread. Those both work really well with it. We did it with French bread, and it was good. So really, whatever you want it with, it doesn't even matter. Whatever's good. But yeah, pita chips, pita bread, French bread. So you have this little rubbery tube thing, and you slide your garlic inside of it. And then you just roll it like this. And then the outside falls right off. And it's done. So you don't have to fight with it and try to get all the bits peeled off. Sometimes it's kind of hard to roll it if they're not very round at all. But yeah, I highly recommend this. Like I said, I'm gonna put this on my kit. I may even just post a picture or link or something on the, the page because this is a life changer. For somebody that eats garlic a lot, this will make your life so much easier. Look how quick and easy that is. I've seen where they tell you put your garlic in a jar and just shake it a whole bunch. I've never tried that. I don't know if that works just as well, but this is amazing. So it made a mess on my counter, but my hands aren't all garlicky. That will be washed later. Super easy cleanup. Garlic, just as you should add that to your kit now. Um, I can in just a, a minute. When I'm done holding this camera, I'll go add it to, to our kit. Uh, you can find anything that Crystal bakes with tool-wise at gettingbakedwithcrystal.com. Oh yeah, thanks. Dot com. Dot com. Okay, so I always just cut off the ends because they're a little crispity. That's a big old clove of garlic. All right, so let me show you guys how easy this is. You put your garlic here. That's it, now you have chopped garlic. Dane, you're a real Vince offer. <laughs> Get that chop slap You'll action. You love my garlic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can put nuts in here. You could try. Here, I got some. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from the food review I just did with the right, with, right. with the fuego nuts. Yeah, I don't know if this is strong enough for nuts, but it certainly works really well for garlic. I don't have garlic fingers, and I have a whole bunch of chopped garlic. So, brilliant. Whoever invented this, brilliant. And then. The top, the front of it just comes off and it's all in a bowl for you just to throw in your stuff. So yeah, if you regularly cook with garlic, I highly recommend getting one of these. Like I said, we will post it. You're gonna go post that in the kit now? Yeah, I can go post that in the kit. Okay, appreciate you. And then the only bad part is it is, it is a little tricky to clean. Um, you'll never get all the bits out, but you're only ever gonna chop garlic in it. So do the best you can. This comes off, so that does help to clean that. Um, and then this also pops out, but I've had to get like, um, we have like a, this is for cleaning Dan's reusable straws. So I had to poke this through to try to get the bits out and stuff. So cleaning it is a little bit tricky, but it's better than having garlic fingers. I see Samantha with the super chat. Oh, we're talking about the cheese roll. Cream cheese with scallions rolled in pecans. I have not seen that or heard of that. I don't think that's a California thing. It sounds good. I'd try it. Uh, 
Oh. Ooh, those things come in fun colors, too. Yes. Yeah, I just got gray and green, but yeah, it comes in different colors. Okay, garlic, and then cream cheese, mayonnaise, and salt is gonna go into here. So whatever amount of cream cheese you ended up with, Di, because I think you said you were doubling it, so you're using the whole box of cream cheese. I am using two ounces because I halved my recipe. I hate cream cheese, like trying to get it out of the package. It's the worst. It's not like butter where it just slides right out. There's always bits left on it. I always just scrape it with a knife like this if you needed a trick to get it all off. Hey, get out of there. Your cat's over here pulling towels out of the cupboard. He's trying to fold them. <laughs> He's trying to unfold them. He's trying to know when to fold them and when to hold them. <laughs> so. Oh, let me see if I can grab the original recipe for you, Di, real quick, because it has a better measurement for the amount of uh, mayonnaise, because I had to do some math to convert to tablespoons. This page artichoke. Bear with me, guys. What's going on in the chat, Dan? Right, so as of right now, it's on gettingbakewithcrystal.com or the link's in the chat if you want to just check out the garlic thing. Oh, yeah, the garlic presser thingy. Highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. Um, Di, it's gonna be a quarter cup if you're doubling it. You can measure 16 tablespoons if you want, but I thought that might be a little bit time consuming, so. I can't open this. Oh, I got it, I don't need you. Oh, I don't need I was a man. Take off my shirt. <laughs> I give my cream cheese wrappers to my cats to lick. That's brilliant. Mooch would love me if I did that. I didn't think of that. What are you doing? You need to get your cat. He's acting a fool up there. All right, all right. He don't like me. He's your cat. We were no, talking he's earlier. up there trying to be bad, and he's going to knock my things down. Where is he? Up oh, there. Oh, in the corner. In yes, the he's hiding. Okay, so for mine, I'm going to do eight tablespoons of mayonnaise. What's wrong, dude? <laughs> Judging by his piercing... Judging by him piercing Wait. my arm, he's afraid of something right now. That's too Gosh, bad. he's so um, big. I caught myself before I screwed up. I'm cutting it in half. I'm doing four tablespoons of mayonnaise. Good, because I'm not going to go back to get more mayonnaise. <laughs> Here, why don't you go ahead and throw a whole spoonful of that in my mouth? Ew, no. Nobody wants to see that. Oh, uh, neither do I. <laughs> I was really hoping you would not do it. <laughs> All right. Jess says, wishing I would have made this for game night because it looks amazing. You should. People would love it. I promise you. I've never had anybody be like, that's all right. I guess if you don't like spinach artichoke dip, you might not love it. But all right. This one's tricky because it calls for a third of a cup and I need to cut that in half. Let me see what half of a third of a cup is. Why don't you ask Alexa? Because I don't What's a half care. of a third of a cup? 2.66 tablespoons. See, she don't like me either. Dude, none of the girls in the house like me. Siri hates me. Alexa hates me. I can't deal with Crystal and Kumiko. You can't deal with me? Tell me more. No? You don't have anything else to say about that? She didn't say anything, Jess. She didn't have anything for me. She's on strike. She's got till midnight to come up with a deal. We've been celebrating because, what, three, four nights in a row now, she's actually shut off the Christmas tree lights when we've told her to. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a rare. small victory. You know? Small victory. All right. I feel like this is taking way longer than I anticipated. I thought this was going to be like a... 10, 20 minute recipe, but I guess we had to leave for 20 minutes to get dip. Dang, was it 20 minutes? minutes? I don't know. I didn't time it. It felt like 20 minutes. Huh, me, I got, I got, I, I got there quicker. I got there quicker than Matt Damon got the Mars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 2.66, so like two and two thirds. Have you trained her your voice yet? That helps. Crystal did, but I didn't. Or maybe I did. I think we both did. No. She likes to do this thing where she's like, multiple things are called that. When that's false, there's only one thing called what we call that. I don't want to say it. Can Does I she actually listen? What's that? Yeah. 
Okay, let me make sure I got everything in there. Oh, I need salt. So this one calls for kosher salt. I don't really know what the difference is between salt, but I do have kosher salt. I usually use sea salt when I bake. Um, Wasn't one of them blessed, like, by Rabbi Krastovsky? Like, don't they, like, bless the... Don't they bless it? Maybe, or they keep it separate from their milk and their meat. I don't really know. So I'm doing, like, a half of a quarter teaspoon for me. Dye, you should be putting, if you're double egg, a half a teaspoon of salt in there. Okay, is that all the things? I put in mozzarella, parmesan, spinach, artichoke, cream cheese, sour cream, mayonnaise, garlic, and salt. I think we are good. You ate all your spaghettios, didn't you? Didn't you have some the other night? You just want to mix this well enough until it's blended well, basically. I usually hit it up with a rubber spatula at the end just to make sure everything is mixed well and not stuck to the sides. I guess I can come back over here with it. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Do you know we're live right now? Yeah, I'm trying to clean up the cat's mess. The cat's going around being destructive like a right. Tasmanian devil. So, I don't know how well you can see what's going on. Oh, I still have a blob of cream cheese. Let me try to smash that in. Your cream cheese should probably be a little bit softer, but if not, just make sure it mashes in there as well as you can. It will all get melty in the oven, so it's not too big of a I deal. sat on it all the way here. Did you? Mm -hmm. Thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah. I used cream cheese and a couple packets of spring onion soup mix it together to make it the day before to let the flavor go through. Oh, that onion soup mix. I bet that soaks in really well. I do that um, with uh, meat for hamburgers. Yes, you do. Dai says, I need more time. Dai said that? Yeah. Oh, take your time, Dai. So this is something you can also make. Like I said, I make it and then I'll put it in the mini loaf pan since it's just, you know, two or three of us, depending on if Blake's here. Uh, and you can refrigerate it. When I make it for Christmas Eve, I'll make it. Well, I'm off work that day, so I'll probably make it in the morning. But you can make it the night before if you have something going on the next day. Awesome for taking to parties. Awesome just to, like, have... I had a, a chicken burger for dinner last night and just had this and some pita chips on the side, and that was really good. So if we have to slow down for diet, does that mean I risk life and limb to run to the store for nothing? No, she was doing her artichoke. She's doubling it, so it's taking her two or three times as long, maybe four times, depending on... Like, because I cut mine in half, she's doubling it. So she's making more of this. Are you done with this tonight? For, no, not tonight, but for right now, yes. Uh, Celeste says, I was out looking at Christmas lights, Clyde. I got home in time to catch the show. Hi, everybody. Oh, I want to see Christmas lights. Yeah, do we need to go on a Christmas light adventure? Maybe. Where are you at, Di? Give, give me an idea of, like, where you're at so I know how much to slow down. Do you want this in the fridge? Yes, that and this can both go in the I fridge. I bought it just in case something else happened. Thanks, I appreciate you. I had a mini panic before I realized the actual panic of not having cream cheese when I went to get my two sticks of butter out and there was only one stick left in my box. But there was another box hidden under other stuff, so we were good. Boxes. All right, she's mixing still. She's got way more mix than I do, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. So yeah, go ahead and keep mixing. I'm just gonna keep trying to mash up my cream cheese bits because that's not really gonna happen for me in the mixer with it being cold, so I'm trying to cut them in half. Oh man. What? I mean, Tell not, me the story. Just uh, Christmas is like in a week from today. A yeah, week this from whole today. Darn year just was a blur. So, so weird. So weird how how quick it how went by and not really going out and enjoying like Right? And, like weren't we just at my mom's house for her birthday in March? Right. And then now what's Christmas? Dang, a lot happened this year. Remember when this kitchen was all, like, in disarray? Yes. We didn't have a kitchen for a while? We didn't have hot water for, like, a month? What a year. Oh, that was so hard. Oh, that was brutal. Yeah, that's when I learned that I don't have to bathe every day. Yeah, yeah, you should, though. <laughs> I still bathed every day. We heated up water. I heated up water because you didn't bathe every day. I heated up water in Dan's electric tea kettle, and I gave myself sponge baths every day because yeah. I could not not bathe. Yeah. And sometimes I went to my mom's house to take a hot shower. No one is putting their Christmas lights up this year where I'm at. There's one person over there that's got Christmas lights, and our next door neighbor has these little cute snowmen <laughs> that just lay dead in the yard all day, and then at a certain time at night, they come alive again, and they're out there and alive. it sounds like a vacuum cleaner because yeah. the air blows up into it. I love it. it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dice it caught up. All right. So pour it in your pan after that. 
<laughs> Samantha said, did Dan Santa Beard go out into the mail? Somebody's getting it. So <laughs> it could be you. Nobody wanted it. Nope. Yep, it's no, the beard that nobody wanted, but saying. everybody loved to hate. <laughs> It was pretty bad. So basically, if you're putting it into smaller pans, just divide it as evenly as you can or as unevenly as you want to, I suppose. You just stick it in the pan. It's pretty easy. I don't ever uh, grease the pan or anything because you're going to use whatever you're eating it with to scrape it off the bottom anyway. Can you, I see a super chat. Can you oh, like yes. Super chat from Loki, the Siberian, who hit a thousand subscribers the other day. Awesome. Yes. Way to make it to the 1K club. Uh, hey, Dan and Crystal, just using that super chat to remind everybody to smash that thumbs up. Also, we poked 105 viewers. Oh. Ooh, awesome. All right. I feel like these are a little bit full. Thank you so much. And hello, 105 of you, or 98 of you. Awesome. Yeah, please hit the thumbs up. It really does help the show. We'll appreciate it a whole bunch. So these are fuller than when I made it last time. Right. Um, but last time I split it amongst four of them. Do they rise like bread? I don't bread? know what No, it doesn't rise at all. Well, then I think we're okay. Yeah, we're definitely okay. There's just going to be more dip and less ratio of, like, the crispiness. I love Let's the crispiness. Let's do a food flyover. That does look pretty dang good. So I am going to save one of these for later. We'll have this on Oh, a rainy day? We're not going to have any of those. So one's going to go aside. I've noticed the way that I've made it um, in an 8x8 or 9x9 pan, in a uh, bread loaf pan, and in the mini loaf pans, doesn't matter. It always takes 25 minutes-ish. I like to do two more minutes so it's a little crispy on top. Um, recipe calls for 25 to 30 minutes. That's accurate at whatever size your oven may differ. That's up to you to figure out. But that's pretty accurate for every time I've done it. And so, it goes? Yeah, and it goes 400 for 25 minutes. I'm actually going to put 27. Ooh, something leaked in there last night, and it still smells a little bit. Was it pizza, 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 <laughs> pizza? Oh, I shoot. Wait, you. die. Don't put it in the oven yet. Wait, it's going to explode. Wait. The call's coming from inside the house. Don't put it in the oven. We forgot to top it with cheese. It's not a tuma. Sometimes that happens, and sometimes you forget. Blake never lets me live it down when I forget to put a topping on something. It's because I had you put away the cheese, and I should have had you leave it out so that I remembered. That other quarter cup of cheese, or whatever measurement of cheese you left out, goes on the top. Yes, thank you. You caught it. I wish I knew how to cheese you. Okay, this is all goes in the fridge. What is this all? Sour cream and... And what? Mayonnaise. Yes. Yes, Di, just sprinkle the last little bit of whatever you set aside onto the top in whatever proportion that you have it set aside. Again, I like the mozzarella a little bit more. Maybe if I got fresh Parmesan, I would like that better, but this is what I have because I use this for salads. So I just make it with what I have. I'm just kind of winging it. Oh, Angela Googled things to use in place of cream cheese. Yes, if you don't like or can't have cream cheese, cottage cheese, tofu, ricotta cheese, yes. I think that's a texture thing and the fact that it, they're all like a, a creamy type thing, so it'll add that same creaminess. Um, and those should all work. I would definitely, if you're gonna do any sort of replacements, look into it. I would love to tell you guys what to replace with what, but I don't have any allergies. I don't really have any sensitivities and I usually just make recipes straight out how they are. I don't have a problem with that. If you have allergies and sensitivities, you probably know way better than I do what can be replaced with what. So I would trust you better to know than to get information from me. So yeah, absolutely just Google it, find some information. I know somebody asked me earlier this week something about um, using almond flour and I went and looked it up and found out I didn't dig deep, so don't hold me to this, but the sites that I was looking at said that you have to change the ratio because the the properties of almond flour are different than all-purpose flour. So you have to use double the amount. So that's something you definitely want to look into and figure out what replacement works for you. Don't be discouraged by a recipe because it has something you can't eat. Go find what you can replace it with. There's always an option out there. Charlotte wants to know what's tofu. Tofu is made out of, what is it? It's made out of soybean? It's the styrofoam you get like from your big screen TVs. And then they just do that? No. So tofu by itself is basically unflavored. It's like a sponge. Yeah, it's made from soybeans, mashed soybeans. If you just eat tofu all by itself, it's not good. Don't eat raw tofu. If you eat raw tofu, you're gonna be like, tofu is disgusting. Let me put this in the oven before I keep the oven. So 
So I recommend 27 minutes for it. Start at 25, see how it works for you and when you want to be done cooking it. So tofu by itself is disgusting. It, I mean, it's, it has no flavor at all. It's, soybeans don't really have a flavor. You have to cook it, you have to bake it, you have to do something with it. I make a tofu stir fry where it's like um, vegetable broth and soy sauce and garlic and brown sugar and all kinds of things mixed together. Good. And it you soak the tofu in it. So tofu is almost quite literally a sponge. You soak it in whatever marinade, marinade that you want it to be flavored like. And I think before I cook it, I have to soak it for like 10 or 15 minutes to really absorb it in there. And then when you cook it or bake it until it's crispy, that's when it's perfect. Um, I've, I've had it in a soup before where it's softer, but again, it soaks in those flavors. I like it crispy. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, Amanda wants to know if you can freeze the dip and then take it out and bake it. I'm not going to give you a solid answer on that because I'm not sure how all the cheeses freeze. I don't see why you couldn't, but I've never tried it. The only thing I would be worried about is it may affect the texture of the dip, but I would think you probably could. Does anybody out there know anything better about whether you can freeze, you know, we got mayonnaise. The mayonnaise I would be worried about. I think mayonnaise tends to separate, but there's not a whole lot in there. But I think if you just freeze mayonnaise, like a jar of mayonnaise, the oils will separate from the whatever's not oils. Um, the cheeses can freeze. I often, if you guys don't know, you can freeze cheese. I hate buying small bags of cheese and, you know, only buying what I need and having to spend so much more than what a big bag would cost. But if I buy a big bag, it's going to go moldy before I use it all. So I put it in the freezer. As long as you're not just eating the cheese by itself, you're not going to notice the texture change. So we usually get pre-shredded, um, cheese. We usually use like a Mexican four cheese blend or something. Um, I throw it in the freezer and I keep a Tupperware container and when it gets low, then I just top it off again. So yeah, you can absolutely freeze cheeses. I don't know about the dip. If somebody out there knows better than me, maybe you can let us know in the chat and I haven't tried it, so I can't say. Are you using any of this stuff for this next recipe? Um, I do need the big mixer bowl. I think I'm pretty good on everything else. So this I'm just gonna throw in the fridge. Kamunra? Kamunra? I don't know if I said that right. Um, says I keep my bags of shredded, shredded cheese in my freezer. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy I'll buy two big old bags when they're on sale, like two for something, and throw them in the freezer. Two for money. Two for money. Two for cheaper than it costs to buy one. What'd you say about RFSJ? Uh, he wants to know where his royalty check is for flu food flyover. <laughs> I didn't know he was. I didn't know that's where that came from. Did he invent that? I guess so. I know you can put nuts in the freezer. Yeah, but if you leave them in there too long, the nuts will shrink up and get smaller, and then you will have big nuts. You're not allowed to be on the show anymore. Okay. Can you entertain for a minute so I can run to the restroom? Yeah, sure. I put these nest. These things are like nesting dolls. Like, you have to stack them with inside each other, but none of them ever like line up correctly. Like I know the ones with the rubber handles go here. But these ones go here. Oh, I did it this time. Ha ha! Take that. This is more victorious than Simon says. I owe Jason too. Yeah, I didn't know Dai, that's where that came from. I figured it probably came from me or I would in a trivia question I would have guessed Dan. But no, Jason's flew fly over. I, <laughs> so we owe him we owe him money. And now you owe uh you owe him too. Making lasagna for dinner tonight. Ooh, that'll be nice. I think that's my what we're doing on New Year's Day. I'm not sure. I'm curious what your lasagna looks like, Helen. Send me, send me a picture to my, to the gram. I freeze cheese too, says Cyber Husky. You've posted the cutest pictures of your dogs lately. Those have really been cute. I buy butter on sale and put it in the freezer. It lasts forever. And Nancy, is butter really that like different in price? Aren't they all like 86 questions? How do I send trivia questions to Dan? Uh, I had an email. It was dantixquestions at gmail.com. Dantixtriviaquestions at gmail.com. What was the... What was the Gmail for trivia questions? I think it's just Jantix questions. I think it's Jantix questions at gmail.com. Where's the rest of these guys? Oh, they're over here. Do you need all of these for yes. the new ones too? Okay. Yeah, I tried to Look, separate out what I needed. Okay. Um, but I don't know. I, whoa. No, well, no, those are clean. Oh, well now they're just wet. I didn't touch any of those. <laughs> but here, I'll dry them off. You have to go do your show. Don't let Dan in your kitchen, guys. 
That's not clean to dry things off with. Have you met me? If you're drying things, you need a fresh, clean towel. That's all we were rubbing our hands on. Whew. What? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. okay. Everybody freezes butter. I've never freeze butter. Frozen? Frozen butter? Uh-uh. Mm. Freeze, frozen, frozen. Okay. So now what's the next what's okay, the next so thing? What's this thing called? Cranberry strusoli bread thing? It's cranberry shortbread bars. So I made these years and years and years ago for Christmas. I might have made them two probably, years. Probably two in years ago. I think it's probably uh, no yeah. more than two years ago. Um, but I think I made them two years in a row and never made them again. So it's been a minute. I don't have any tips or tricks yet. I don't remember how I made it. I just know that I have it bookmarked and I made it a bunch. Um, it's basically if you've ever made homemade cranberry sauce, you basically just do cranberries and sugar in a pot on the stove. That's pretty much what this is. And then it goes in a shortbread um, dough in the pan and then shortbread on top. Super good, super easy. Not really a like complicated recipe at all compared to some of the stuff that I make. I recently watched a documentary on ocean spray. It's new this year, like in the last six months. It's like a 10 or 12 minute documentary about their uh, ocean spray cranberries and how they get them and how they flood the fields to get all the cranberries. It was so yeah, fascinating. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, you guys should check it out. It's on YouTube. Um, and uh, it was really interesting. It was really short too. You, know, you can watch it in 10 minutes and it's fascinating how much water goes to getting cranberries from the ground to your mouth. Yes. Okay, so first part of this is gonna be to make the filling. We're gonna use three cups of fresh or frozen cranberries um, or one 340 gram package, which happens to be exactly what a bag of cranberries weighs. So I just grabbed this bag of cranberries. We're gonna throw this in a pot on the stove. Are you ready for a pot on the stove, Cam? Um, yeah, sure, I can get your stove, Cam. Oh. I'm gonna get the taller pot. So if you're making this, you should use a taller pot because we're gonna stir it and it's cranberry. Oh, that was a stunt pot to try Oh, to... I see. I was trying to figure out how to get rid of that glare on the handle. You know oh. what the answer is? You can't. No. Unless you put a pot holder on there, but ours are all mangled up because I lit them on fire. That's why you don't let Dan in your kitchen. All right, so we've got our bag of cranberries. Mine were frozen. You can use fresh if you want. I just happened to grab frozen ones when I saw them on sale. Next up is two thirds cup of sugar. What's that? Peach drink, you should have a sip. Peach like alcohol? Well, yeah. Hard iced tea, huh? It tastes like a Kern's nectar. You want it? I'll drink that. All right. Yeah, I'll drink that. Samantha says that you've mentioned the cranberry video in the last two baking shows. It's, it was cool. You you really liked that. I don't understand why more things, I do because there's no air in there, but why more things don't get flooded to go to the top. I think that was really cool. I want to go swim with cranberries. Dan's been kind of stuck on how it's made videos lately. So when we watch TV, I like to pick like a show we can really get into. Let's pick like a six season drama with some depth. Let's do something. No one got time for that. Dan's all about YouTube. Dan's like, get me into your five to 10 minute video so I can get back out again. And we just watch 500 videos in a day. You don't understand the the, the thumb wrestling world championships are really cool. So was that soccer game. It was, a, it was a ping pong table, but they were using their feet and kicking soccer balls over it. It was so fascinating. And the world tag championships. The World Tag Championships is really World cool. World Tag Championships? Right, and marble racing. I watch a lot of marble racing. I do like marble racing. I will say you find out about all kinds of really weird things that I would never know anything about. Yeah. Yeah, so I just, any of those things that are fascinating, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really into right now. I watch a lot of RC car racing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is crazy. I can't look away. All right, all right. Back to the baking show. All right, so we've got three cups, which is one 340-gram package of cranberries. Can you shut your ringer off? You've been dinging through the whole show. <laughs> um, Two-thirds cup of sugar and three tablespoons of water. Ew, what did you put in my measuring cup? There's, like, floaties in there. Oh, let's try that again. Bear with me, guys. All right. 
three tablespoons of water. I can smell the spinach dip, it smells so good. I'm gonna do a little bit more because my tablespoons were a little bit short. All right. So you want to cook this over a medium high heat, bring it to a boil and then cook until thick and syrupy about five to 10 minutes. Then we're gonna set it aside and let it cool for 10 minutes before we go to the next step. So it should cool for at least 20 minutes before we put it into the unbaked crust. So we're gonna cook it five to 10 minutes, let it cool for 10 minutes, make the crust, and then it should be cool enough at that point to put into the crust. Basically just stir it until it becomes liquidy and boils. I gotta get that sugar mixed in there so it doesn't burn. It feels like it needs more liquid, but I think the cranberries kind of liquefy a little bit once it cooks down. Again, I haven't made this in a bunch of years, so I'm not 100% sure. We don't have the right camera on. Hey, Dan, mm. we don't have stove cam. Thank you. What's up? Nothing. Just making sure yes, Brittany, don't worry. There is a timer for the dip. We have 15 more minutes till the dip is ready. I'll figure out a way, and it wasn't easy to do. There's a plug-in, but it was really buggy. Um, uh, how to get a timer on the screen. I'll oh, see if yes. Streamlabs has something, because I used to do it with a plug-in, but it got it, it, was, it was really buggy. I had it for Dantix on the timer, but right. I'll, figure out a, I'll figure out a timer. I'll try to figure that out for next week, and then... Um, We'll have a timer, and then we'll be able to see what it is with words under it. Okay. I'll, I'll figure that out. That was something that was in my head, but uh, the, the thing, like, when I started Dantix, it was so buggy. Yeah. Jess said she made raspberry lemon spoon cake today. I don't know what spoon cake is, but I like raspberry lemon. Like, it's when you take a spoon, and then, like, you put all the cake ingredients in there, and you take a lighter, and you heat up the spoon <laughs> until it makes a tiny little cake. And a then, tiny little cake? Yeah, and then you eat it off the spoon. Super. And you put a raspberry and a lemon on top? Yeah, super fancy. Well, right. yeah, right, right. It's super oh, fancy. Oh, that tiny food, right? Uh-huh. Got it. So fancy. My cat was watching you guys. Meow. That's high-end cat. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. So this takes a little bit, and then it has to cook for five to ten minutes. Dan, we need to talk to Ken. Ken from McCann Dogs. Yes, he does do a killer live stream with all those pop-ups and stuff. Um... I just need to like re-familiarize myself with some of them. Dang, I love mullet cam. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, I love that. Party in the rear. Cute. Hello, everybody. Rar. Maybe, maybe it's mullet lean. I bet it smells like Christmas in here. What does it really smell like? All I smell is cheese dip. I don't smell anything. If you stand over the stove, you will. That, so the, it the does smell. The sugar in the water are kind of dippy. thickening up now. Uh huh. Uh, I want to bring this to a boil. There's not much liquid, so I'm not really sure how that happens. I was saying I haven't made it in a while, so I don't remember exactly what happens. I hear Kamiko crying at the door. Is she at the front door? She's crying somewhere. I'll find her. Steve said, tomorrow's Loki's birthday. Oh, how old is Loki going to be? Yeah, she's crying. Yes, you should post a picture of your dip, your your spoon cake in the Facebook group. I would like to see what a spoon cake is. Di, uh, Di sent a picture of her stuff. I was going to show it to you, but you chewed my head off for the Dane. That's a casserole. Yes. I'm showing Di's picture. Yeah, Sorry, and that's Di. what it's supposed to be made in if you make the full recipe. It's that is, a casserole. That, that casserole good. dish reminds me of my childhood. Does it? Yeah, my mom had stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you had that? Yeah, not that exact one, but like for sure like sets like that. Dane. Um, I saw, I think it was Angela asked what's in the pot right now. It's cranberry, sugar, and water. It's a bag of cranberries, two-thirds cup sugar, and three tablespoons of water. 
Steve said five, and it feels like I got him yesterday. Aw. <laughs> Jess says, I have one just like that. D maybe they were issued to everybody. Not me. I didn't get in that line. This is actually really decent. Right? It's a little bit thick like a Kern's Nectar. Uh -huh. And the peach flavor overwhelms any sort of alcohol flavor. I discovered... I know and it's not been, carbonated. I know these have been around for a while, but I discovered them when we were in... Uh, or when uh, I went to Michigan this last time. And you didn't want to tell me about them? You didn't want to come home and be like, oh my god, this tastes like Kern's Nectar, you should try it? I kind of forgot all about it until I saw something that's like, it's Twisted Tea! And then I set a reminder on my Siri to remind me to get some, and then I got some, and then now it's now. So as I'm cooking this, um, in the beginning, if you remember, there wasn't very much liquid. I don't know because the camera wasn't on very well, or like very early on. But the liquid is starting to come out of the cranberries, so it is getting more liquidy. So it, we are going to see it come to a boil. Yeah. Are we too far? See, here's the thing. I set up this rad stove cam, but we only really need like one burner. And then I can zoom in, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I only ever use one burner for baking. Sorry. Now you gotta stare at my whole stove. At least it's clean. Good job. Thanks. Yeah, it looks cleaner on, on the screen than it does in person. I guess that's what I, you want to achieve. Yes. I cleaned it today on my live stream Good that job. I did. It was a stove cleaning live stream. <laughs> what was it? I missed that. All right, bring it to a boil. Cook until thick and syrupy, about five to ten minutes. It says add... It says... It says add paprika to it taste. absolutely does add not. Add paprika to taste. That's what it says. No. So it's pretty much starting to boil now. My timer's at ten minutes for the spinach dip, so uh -huh. I'm going to use that to kind of give me an idea of what the five to ten minutes is here. I'm just kind of stirring it to make sure that it doesn't burn. And I see the, the liquid is turning more red, like the juice is coming out of the cranberries a little bit more. Right. What else are you going to do to it? Um, after this is done, this has to sit for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, then we're going to start... I'll probably start it earlier. This has to sit for 20 minutes total before you can put it in the crust. Right. So we'll make the crust, and then this will pour into it. Okay, nice. Um, if you're asking if you're dropping frames or losing packets, just hit refresh. My system shows that I have 0.0% lost packets, and that I'm still at 100% the whole stream. So um, just hit refresh and stuff, um, and it, it'll come back. Or it won't. It'll turn into that game where you have to, like, take that T-Rex and jump over things. If it does go to there, please let me know your high score. <laughs> so the cranberries are starting to fall apart now. It's getting warm enough. There's enough liquid. It's more liquid than cranberry at this point. Uh, Chris says, no paprika for cranberries, question mark. Kanye is suitable substitute. <laughs> Kanye? Oh, Ky Cayenne. Cayenne? <laughs> Same thing. Dan's not allowed either of those. It's bubbling. It's, is it is. supposed to be going like that? Yeah, I turned it down just a little bit. What's it say? Can you read the recipe? Um, it says for filling. Oh wait. Uh, add the cranberry mixture and spread it. Add two thirds of the dough. Yeah, back up. Back up. Preheat for the filling. Hey, wait. This goes where are you though? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Bring to a boil, then cook until thick and syrupy. So it's definitely thickening up. It's getting more syrupy. We're getting there. It happens pretty quick. It's like nothing, nothing, nothing. There. Oh, now it's a jelly. Is that better? Hey, good job. Yay. Production value on the fly. <laughs> cayenne, Kanye, kind of the same, I suppose, right? I'd rather have cayenne. Yes. What's wrong? You don't want the new Yeezys? I would wear the new Yeezys, the, yeah. The I'm all about shoe, it. Moon shoes. I could do my Crip Walk and my new don't Yeezys. Do that. No? Don't do that. Got my red hair. That would make you a blood, not a Crip. Dang, I go between. I'm, I'm like neutral. Terry says, Aunt Terry says, wow, I'm late. I missed a lot. Sad face. Oh, you can always go back and watch it later. We made spinach artichoke cheese dip that will be coming out of the oven in about seven and a half minutes. Um, you missed that we actually didn't have cream cheese for the dip, and Dan had to go to the store and get it. But he saved the day, and now we're cooking cranberries. Wait. Cranberry sugar and water. Is that hero complex? Because I didn't get the cream cheese and then I saved the day. <laughs> Did you make yourself my hero? Yeah. Interesting, Dan. Interesting. So this is the cranberry filling for the cranberry shortbread bars we're going to be making. 
We're going to cook this and then let it sit for 10 minutes. Are you coming over here to taste it? No, I'm going to go the cats on the counter and the silver spoon. Oh my god. No? Am I going to come over and taste it? No, it's boiling. I'm not coming over to taste that. Well, you seem to like putting boiling things in your mouth, so... You're the one that burnt yourself last night on, did. on the actual dip. The roof of my mouth has been hurting so bad all day. Uh -huh. What's up, RFS Dan? What's up, Nathan? Whoop, whoop. So the cranberries are not so cranberry anymore. There's not oh, the really any, like, balls in here anymore. They've kind of broken apart. Oh, so it's like, it's kind of turned to liquid with texture. Yes. Yeah, it's, it, we basically made like a jelly-ish type thing out of it. Uh huh. I feel like it's gonna burn. I'm gonna turn it down just. I a feel like you should bit. turn it down. Also, can I take this away? Um, no. Okay. You want it bigger so you can see? Not necessarily. Oh, can I have my drink though? Oh yeah, Maybe. it's gonna be one of those strings. Maybe. We'll see how the night goes. You know what I didn't get out was a pan to cook the dough for this in. Brittany says, huh, huh, hit Beavis. Crystal broke the cranberry balls, huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah. I really like the flavor of cranberry. I don't like the texture of like chewing on the balls of cranberry. Uh, Dai says, my, my did is browning. Dip? My dip is browning. Um, if this it's browning. Is done? Okay, so according to the timer, I don't know what your timer says. Mine says I have five more minutes on it. I did 27 minutes. Totally up to you. Um, everything in there by now should be cooked. If it gets brown enough on the top and you're done with the brownness, you can take it out whenever you're ready. I like it to be a little bit, like, almost crispy, but totally up to you. It's been probably at least 20 minutes, so it's probably cooked all the way through, as long as you didn't make it too thick. Let me see how mine looks. Yeah, mine's starting to brown around the edges only. Is that what yours looks like? Like, it's not really brown in the middle, but it's brown around the edges? Can, where's your camera? Can you come with your camera? Like, so you can see this? No, in here. Oh, um, I don't, I don't think I go that far. No? No, I'm like two inches too short. Can you come close and see? Oh, that's hot. I don't know how well you can see that it's, Probably it's not. brown around the edges. Okay, that, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't. I didn't expect that to happen. I was just testing you to see if you were ready. I, 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 I have this blue extension cord that will make me bigger, and then I can get closer. All right, hold on. I gotta cut this promo. <laughs> you gotta do what now? What did they? Nathan said, uh, when are we going to do a Christmas episode of Dantix? Tomorrow night, live, 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 6 o'clock p.m. 9 o'clock for all you Eastern people. We will be doing a live episode of Dantix on YouTube.com slash RFS Dan. We'll be asking majority trivia questions, over 100 of them at stake. So brush up on your bad trivia Christmas knowledge. One of the questions is, what is the name of the movie that Kevin McAllister plays in Home Alone? So Wait. get that... Oh, the name of the movie? Yes! Oh, yes, okay. Mm, so tomorrow, be there or be square. Ba Humbugger, come have some fun with your friend RFS Dan. And me. Hey, Crystal, work on the boards. Boom! Okay, back to back to regular okay. scheduled programming. So, Woo! There's pretty much Woo! no more cranberry, like full cranberries in here. It's all broken down and it's starting to congeal pretty well. It's pretty like jelly like. So I'm gonna call it on that. That went about five minutes. And we're gonna let this cool for 20 minutes total, is what it said. So I've got three minutes left on that. Remind me to set that for 17 when that's done. Okay. We can get started on the dough for this. Excuse me, with your butt. Uh, Jess said, is one of the questions, what does Elf say the four food groups are? Yes, but we've only seen that movie once, maybe, so I don't remember it well enough, and I thought that was too hard, so you only have to name one. But I, maybe I, I should put it back to four. I haven't seen, I've only seen that movie a couple times, so I don't, I don't know. I love Christmas Vacation, Steve. Oh, I love Christmas Vacation. Uh, but I haven't watched Elf. We'll try. I'll try it. We can put on Elf. It, everybody loves it. Okay, so we are making shortbread for this. So the oven for this is going to be at 375. So once this comes out of the oven, the cheese dip, I'm going to turn the oven off, open it a little bit, and then restart it. So if you're making this, set your oven to 375 now. We are going to do...
Sorry, this recipe is all out of order. When I do recipes, when I write them in my book, I like to put the ingredients in the order that you add them. Like if you start with butter and then you add some sugar, put your ingredients in that order. Don't make me have to search through the six ingredients to figure out where the butter is. So we're doing two sticks of butter. It's a lot of butter, but it's a shortbread. That's what you do with a shortbread. Do not throw these away. PJ says, I've ever, I am not a... Uh, Try again. <laughs> I've never been a big cranberry fan. No. I like them zombie. I, hey, hey, oh, oh, I don't ever hey, just pop hey, a cranberry oh, in my mouth. Oh, hey, yeah. I, had to finish, I had to finish that song. I can't let it go in sun. Okay. Oh, I like cranberry flavoring. I like cranberry juice. I like the cranberry jelly for Thanksgiving. Um, it's really tart. Is that tart? Is that the right thing? It is thing? tart. Yes. It's really tart. So I don't find I, I'm with you a little bit. Like, why when I could get something like that, like like banana or something that tastes better? Banana. Yeah, or like something else, but it's okay. tart. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be brown sugar. Hold on. Hold on. Let me check my recipe, guys. Cream together the butter and the sugar into light and fluffy. Again, our ingredients are out of order. Flour, cornstarch, salt, butter, light brown sugar. Okay, not sugar, light brown sugar. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to watch Elf. Everybody's vouching for that movie. Well, I wanna watch the Jim Carrey Grinch because that's my favorite version of the Grinch. I'll just act it out for you. Ready? Oh, jeez. Act one. Smoking. That's the mask. Okay, two sticks of butter. Okay. Third cup of brown sugar, apparently. Ooh, wait, hold up. Time for this to come out of the oven. <laughs> Samantha says, it's predictable after the first two times. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> oh, can I put that, can we put that? Oh, this is extra crispy. Okay. That's how I like it. A little bit extra brown. Okay, let's look you at, don't have look the at it real stove quick. cam on. Um, where can I move it that's better? Back there is no, fine. Other way? No, you're fine. I can put it anywhere in the middle. Oh, okay. So I like it a little bit extra brown and crispy like that because there's so much dip that that's just one thin layer across the top. So I like to kind of brown it up. You can make it less brown if you want. Um, again, cheesy spinach artichoke dip. Good with pita bread. Good with pita chips, good with French bread, basically anything you would put a spinach dip on is good uh, with I, it. I do recommend it be in that color, like a little bit charred like that. Yes, it, a little bit, and it's not charred, it's brown. Yeah, because then it kind of crispy cuts a little bit through it when you pick it up with, yes. the, with your chip. Um, oh, hold up, can I can I have a moment with dye? Let that sit for like five to ten minutes if you don't want to burn the roof of your mouth. Oh, yeah. Speaking from experience, oh, leave it alone. You gotta let it sit alone. Leave it alone. Like twice as long as you think you should. Like twice as I long promise as pizza. <laughs> it's lava inside. I promise. It'll feel like it's good. You'll put it on whatever you're dipping it on. You'll blow on it and be like, yeah, I'm good. And then you'll put it in your mouth and then blisters on the roof of your mouth. I promise you. Just, just wait. So, Jess says, I love all the versions of the Grinch, um, the animated one, the Jim Carrey one, and the new animated one. Oh my gosh, a new animated one? I don't know about a new animated yeah. one. Yeah. I'm going to start mixing um, this, because we still have other things to do. I agree, though. I love the, I, the Grinch is good. It's solid. All right, so you want to mix this until it's light and fluffy. So, not just barely mixed, but till like, the butter and sugar really starts to kind of fluff together. I'm going to scrape the sides real quick sugar tends to stick on the bottom a little bit under the mix, the paddle. What percentage is this alcohol that I'm drinking? Because I can feel it. It's five. So it's good. It's it's like, it's, it's like a little bit, it's like, it's like a, a, like a white claw. Okay, well, so I don't drink those, so I don't know nothing about that. Here's the thing. It's like a white claw and you're white already. So like white girl wasted. So like, it, it's got like a higher effect on you. More so than me. Where did mine go? Right there. You keep it up. Spring break 2020. Woo! Uh oh. Brad wants to know if Die Hard's a Christmas movie or not. I haven't seen that one. Should we watch it? For yeah, Christmas? we should. My friend Jess says it is, so it is. Oh, well, what Jess says goes. Well, she's seen it more than I have. Okay, so next thing is vanilla extract. Um, can you guys see this? 
yeah, it's like. So I don't know how well you can see it. It's it's pretty fluffy. Can you? I think you can tell how fluffy it is better when it's actually mixing. I'm gonna get it down off of here. Back up. So then we want to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm using the real vanilla. I kind of have a lot of it right now, so I've just been kind of going for it so my things taste a little bit better. That's empty though. Okay, so I'm gonna let that mix in. And then as always, we're gonna mix together our dry ingredients. This time it is going to be flour, cornstarch, and salt. Jess is still defending Die Hard. Even the director says it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> I would like to see that. I do dig it, like the 80s. I think it just takes place on Christmas Eve, right? That's, yeah, that's right. what makes it a Christmas movie. Yeah, so why not? That's all that you need. I guess. All it's right, a so movie. This is, you can make it whatever you want to make it. I guess. This is going to be two cups of flour. We're going to do two tablespoons of cornstarch. Cornstarch is a thickener, pretty much. I think is all that works. It doesn't really add flavor. I think it just thickens things. Steve said it's during a Christmas party. We'll watch it. Let's watch. We all have to watch it. Okay. I like action movies. But you hate Bruce Willis. He, you know, I say that and stuff like that. But like, I don't care. Like, he's still talented. How like, did he wrong you, Dan? He didn't wrong me. He wronged Kevin Smith. And I'm just oh, like, oh wait, you're holding a grudge on behalf of somebody else. Hold on. You thought that like <laughs> I personally had a run in with him? No, I thought you were just like annoyed by him, so you didn't like him. But... Just nobody likes him. Based on stories that you've heard. I have no reason not to like him. He did nothing to me but try to entertain me. So. Forever. And he saw dead people. <laughs> no, the kid saw dead uh, people. Oh, right. Spoiler. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this recipe calls for three-eighths of a teaspoon of salt. Why would you make that in a recipe? What's, who has an eighth of a teaspoon? I don't have one of those. So, two-eighths is a quarter. I usually do a little bit less salt, so I'm going with a quarter. My butter is salted, so sometimes the recipes will say don't only use salt if your butter is unsalted. So I'm thinking I'm okay with a little bit less. How's that looking? Is it fluffy? Uh, yeah. It looks like it's good to go. Okay. So I just want to get all the stuff off the sides here. So this is pretty much just butter and sugar and vanilla right now. We're gonna add some flour that's gonna make it actually into a dough. You know the show Drunk History? Absolutely. How about Drunk Baking? Uh, oh, I think Hannah Hart does that. Right, and she nails it. Yeah. Um, I would like to do Dan History one time where you give me a thing and I tell you everything I think I know about that time. Yes. I would love- I, I have some stuff in the works for I that. would love that and I would love to see how right I am. <laughs> like I'm, I'm. I like that you want to see how right you are. Right, like, like I'm so. We all want to see how wrong you are. I know I am, but I'm so curious if anything in my head is what it really is. Right. Like really, I'm curious about that. So that would be fun. But it's so dry, Crystal. What's up with that? It's mixing still. Patience, Dan. Patience. My life needs Dan versus history. So do I. I think that would be amazing. I'm so curious of like what I think is real and what is real. <laughs> Brad, you're right. I should have set a timer for the cranberry. I did not. I don't know. We can go back in time in the stream. You, I think you can go backwards in the stream, right? I think I have it set to that. And if I do, we can go backwards in the stream to see. Tell what me time. how many minutes ago it right. was that I shut it off. Is that true, chat? It's like, can we go backwards and see when we put it in? What time? It is? Yeah, I was supposed to set the timer for 17 right. minutes once it was done. Note to not. self, also have a clock on the screen. This is why we don't do drunk baking, because once I start drinking, I forget things like that, or right. I start putting almond extract in the cookies. I'll try to get a, a clock on the screen, too, so we can go back. So it'll be like Animal Crossing. 
Di says she's going to eat her dip now. All right, good job, Di. The RM bug says, no, you're going to melt your mouth. Good luck. I hope it's not too hot. Please don't burn your mouth. Let me know what you think. Send more pics. Okay, so I think that's probably good. We need to get my 8x8 pan. So entertain the masses. This is what it looks like up close. Whoa! Ooh, that does look good. It looks, it looks doughy. Let's Don't taste it. Don't put your fingers in it. Dang, how'd you know? Because I know you. Oh. I've met you. It does look good. Dan, Dan's thinking that the syrup run, syrup run movie was about Jet, what it was about. And just corrected him on the podcast. Oh yeah, with the, with the dogs and the serum that they took to the place. I don't know what you're talking about at all. I don't remember what my theory was on it, but I was way off. Go figure. Sorry, I don't, I don't have time to listen to your podcast. I'm too busy working on all our other projects. <laughs> this is gonna be the tray for it all to sit in. Yes. Yes, because again, um, basically to keep it simple, glass is for like savory, like meats and, and potatoes. Metal pans are for sweet. Okay. It, that's that's the basic breakdown if you just want to remember it easily. Is that, it it is, has to do with how the materials hold heat. There is a post on getting baked with crystal if you want to go back there and find that post for a little bit more of an explanation. But yes, that's why we were using this one. Um, it calls for an 8x8. I think this is 9x9. Nine nine. I believe they were. Maybe I should use my glass one because it's 8x8 eight then. You want to measure it? I think these were 9. I think when I got these, I, I got... I believe they were 9 as well. What are you getting out? Your glass thing? Yeah, because I know my glass one says how big it is. Uh, Samantha, the super chat. Dan, are you talking about Balto or Togo? Uh, Balto or Balto? Balto. Um, like yes. all of it. Okay. So I've always, up until recently, I didn't have the metal ones. I only had the glass ones. So I've always just made it in this one. I've made it, and I've never had an issue. There's a slight difference in how it holds the heat and stuff. It's not going to ruin your recipe, I promise you. But I'm going to go ahead and do this because it does call for eight by eight, and I don't want to spread it bigger because it's going to be much thinner dough and filling and everything. Everybody says Togo. Yes, Togo. How come more dogs' names aren't Togo? All you guys with your Nymerias and and all you guys like have four names. Whenever I approve the post for the snow dog stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh, all these dogs have four names. Four names. There's four dog names, and that's it. Yeah, is that it? Yeah. Okay, so. But no Togos. I, 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 that's my point. Is I don't see as many Togos as I should then. It does not say to grease it. Did Dan watch Togo yet? No. It's just gonna make me sad. Ever since, ever since that that part of the movie of the Incredible Journey where the dog runs into the tree, like I'm sad. I don't want to see that. All right. So I'm not gonna grease it because it says not to. It's a shortbread, so it shouldn't really stick. Ooh, looks like I made a mess. <laughs> Steve said, "Naming your dog Togo is like naming your kid Jesus." <laughs> <laughs> was it, okay. wait, was, it to, was it Togo a sandwich place? Togo's? That's different. That's different. Is it? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not in with the cool. I'm not in with the cool husky kids. See, Togo was so sad. I've never seen it. All I heard is rad stories about it. So to me, Togo's rad. I don't have to watch a depressing movie to see it. I think Togo's rad in my head. I'm keeping it at that. It's like naming your kid Jesus. I mean, they do. Like my my culture does. Everybody. I think it's Jesus. Everybody is sad. See, everybody's sad about Togo. I only heard the good things about him, so that's good for me. <laughs> All right, so this okay, recipe is a shortbread with the filling on top and then shortbread like crumbled on top of that. So we're only going to take two thirds of this. Just eyeball it. It's good enough. And we're going to smash it into here. Uh, while you're doing that, there's a picture of Dai's stuff. Ooh, that looks perfect. Good job, Dai. That does look really good. This is gonna be really thick. All right, let me get this close up here. So can, so I'm gonna take, take a little time. bit out just because that seems thick. Just smash it in there? Yeah, pretty much. I want to see, 
Yeah, I guess they have, the picture of the recipe has it much thicker on the bottom, so. Again, it's been years since I've made this, but it was a recipe that I made multiple years in a row, and then, I don't know why I stopped making it. I rotate out my Christmas cookies every once in a while, although I was looking at, you know, Facebook has the memories, and they'll show you everything you did this time last year, so all week long I've been getting memories of all the other stuff I baked all the other years. I haven't rotated my cookie recipes for a few years for Christmas, and I didn't notice until I plated them all for Dantix last week, how much brown there is. I need to mix that up and try to get, like, I should do something like this where it has the, the red in it for, you know, a pop of color or something. Because, yeah, all my cookies are pretty brown. So you want to go up a little bit on the side. I don't know how well you can see what I'm doing here. I kind of just use my knuckle. There we go. To kind of mash it, because you want to give it a frame for the cranberry to sit in. But you don't want to go up too high because you don't want the shortbread to just be, like, sticking way up on the top and once I put the cranberry in I'll kind of mash this down a little bit to the correct height because it might be a little too tall in some spots it doesn't have to be perfect I feel like I feel like it's a little thinner right in the middle here yeah I'm gonna even everything out Don't okay worry. so you do want to even it's there. it's a process you want to make it kind of as even as you can but it is a process it doesn't have to be perfect Look, it's all going to be good no matter what. You've eaten everything I've made and you've never complained about it. The dough is a little thin right here. No, no, I was trying to give, like, tips. Oh. Like, as somebody who doesn't know how to bake, like, should it be thin in the middle, or...? No, no, you want, you want it to be even. Up the sides, across the bottom, you want to make it as even as you can. And you want to kind of... You don't want the sides to be, like, at an angle. You want to make it, like, as much of a 90-degree angle as you can, because once it cooks up, that's going to be the edge of your cookie. When you're done with that, then let me know and I'll go zoom in on it. Will you? Man, you got everybody talking about uh, crying over the movie. Maybe you shouldn't talk about Togo anymore. Why? No, it's good stuff. Heroes, man. <laughs> Megan says, don't take your anger out on the shortbread. I mean, where else am I going to take it out on? Yeah, you see what it says on the side of her mixer? <laughs> don't judge me. Oh, good news, guys. I think I talked about how I ordered an apron that was supposedly delivered the day after Thanksgiving, and I never got it. So I don't know which one of my jerk neighbors got it and did not feel like bringing it to me, but it wasn't me. So somebody's getting a really awesome handmade apron for Christmas. I ordered it on Etsy, so you know, somebody put like a bunch of effort into making this really awesome apron. I searched everywhere all over the internet and Etsy and everywhere trying to find the perfect one that I wanted and finally found it and yeah something happened and the mailman didn't deliver it. Real, so real quick, did you adjust the oven temperature? I did. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I filed a claim with USPS and they were like yeah sorry about that. First they waited two weeks to get back to me. Then they told me sorry about that we don't know where it is. You should email the person who sent it to you and tell them to send you another one at no cost to you. And I'm like well that's awfully generous of you guys. Um, you know, they said they were sorry and all, but... That was pretty generous, huh? Right. Real, real generous of them to tell me to tell the seller to send it to me for free. So, look, I feel that. I make things. I know the amount of effort that goes into making things and to sell something that you made and then have someone just be like, send me another one because I didn't get it. There's no way for her to prove that I didn't get it. According to USPS, it was delivered in my mailbox. So she has no way of knowing whether I'm telling the truth or not. But I emailed back and forth with her. You know, she tells me, go check with your neighbors, file the claim. I did all those things. Couldn't find the dang apron. So finally, I showed her what USPS said. And I'm like, here's what they said. Like, this kind of sucks. And I didn't want to ask her to send me another one for free. And I didn't really know what to do because, again, I feel bad. It's not like it's a huge corporation that they just grab another one off the shelf. This is a handmade apron. So yesterday, she emailed me and she's like, look, if you pay for shipping, I'll send you another one. Seems totally reasonable to me. So when I'm done here, I actually, she sent me a link. I don't know what the shipping cost is gonna be, but I don't care, it seems reasonable. I will cover the shipping if she's gonna be out a whole nother apron and she's gonna send me another apron. So hopefully, again, next week we're not doing a baking show um, cause it's on Christmas. So enjoy your Christmas. Sorry, I won't be baking. And the week after that, I should have my really cool apron. You guys will get to see on what I actually chose. the first? First, yeah. I don't know. New Year's Day? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So what are we going to be baking since that'll be the next show? It's going to be a surprise. Okay. And we will be doing it I later. will announce it ahead of time. I need to figure out some details and stuff. 
Um, the details is we're going to do it earlier than 6 o'clock. Yes, it is going to be done earlier. Because we're going to eat this item. <laughs> so yes. it'll be earlier than 6, but yeah. it'll be on New Year's Day. We're, we're not actually going to make a dessert. that day. I think we might make some sort of dessert as well while the what is going to be our dinner cooks. So I guess I can tell the surprise, yeah? It doesn't have to be. If you want to, yeah, I'm sure you Yeah, you might as well. Okay. Um, do you have a picture of the apron? I think we have to wait. Like, let's just sell I'm, it for the I'm show. I'm going to unveil it on the show. Ooh. You have to wait and see. Are you going to Vanna White turn some letters? Can I buy a vowel? Can I buy a vowel? Why would you buy a vowel? Stop buying vowels. Stop wasting your money on vowels. That's all Crystal does is yell at the so screen. I get so mad. Stop Look, there's it. only five options. Why would you waste your money on it? If you get enough consonants, you can figure out what the vowels are. If I take all the vowels out of a sentence, you pretty much still know what the sentence is. So, yeah, that makes me mad. The all okay. ID aller. <laughs> See? <laughs> I think this is pretty darn even. What do you think? Do you want to come with? Yes, let's hear Now I'll, that I'll, I've played with it a bunch. Yeah, it's fine. So, we'll early right on, it had a lot of, like, finger mushes in it, and you could see it wasn't really terribly even. Now I've been mashing it a bunch, and I think it's pretty... Uh, what are you doing? I'm just messing with you. I think it's pretty even. I think we're good. You got the corners You got the corners looking good. Thanks. Oh my gosh, can we stop talking about sad dog movies? Everybody's going to cry. Nobody's going to want to watch. Mind your business. They're having discussions. <laughs> it's making me sad. They're, it's not making you sad. You're right, it's not. I'm dead inside. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no more twisted tea for you. Put that down, please. Okay, what's our next course action? Because I still have this big old snowball here. Look, I feel like this has been 20 minutes. It's pretty gelatinous. What, what about this thing? You put it down. Oh, wait, hold on. Are you doing something else? Yeah. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay. So, this is pretty gelatinous. I think it's pretty cooled down. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think we're good. Okay, let me make sure... Add the cranberry mixture and spread evenly. Okay, we're good. Just smush it in the middle and spread it out. Yep, that's how we do. Let's go. Let's let's go like creepily close. Yeah. Yeah, you like mm -hmm. that? You like looking at my cranberry blob? All right. So just spread it evenly into here. I love that sound. I need an up close ASMR mic for this camera, right? No. I could. Next time I'm gonna put plug my mic into this thing and Ugh. put it on here so you guys can hear it goo into the corners. It is pretty sloshy. Damn with the close-ups tonight, right? Is this weird? Should I put it back up here? It's either up here or we get some like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I feel like if it's close enough, then you can see how it's done. I'm a visual person. Looks delicious. The close-ups are great. Awesome job, Yang. Okay, so I should do that? Okay. Okay, so I just want to kind of squish this down a little bit, which is going to make it a little fatter on the top, but it's going to prevent it from getting too crispy. If it's up too high and thin, it'll get crispy. So I'm just squishing it down. I'm trying to win an award like the cast and crew of Survivor. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, they're always winning the The cast and crew? Yeah, they're... They're always, or the crew mostly, they're always winning cinematography awards. Oh, I forgot there's still dough in there and I'm putting the cranberry in there. That looks good, so you made like this thickle outline. Yeah, so it'll just be a little bit thicker on the top part of it. Because it's hard to estimate how high up to go. Uh -huh. I suppose if you make this all the time, you can kind of figure it out. But I make the lemon bars all the time, and I always screw that part up. So Bradman says, that looks like cranberry jam. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what we made. So I have this. I wish this was a little bit thicker, but you just want to kind of crumble the bits on top however you want. I kind of like them in little balls, but that's really time consuming. But you just kind of take little bits in your hand. And sprinkle it onto the top. And everybody's putting their favorite, like, dog movies in there. No love for Benji? What's your favorite cat movie? No love for the cats? Uh -huh. Are there cat movies? What about Milo and Otis? Do you remember Milo and Otis? How many of you are old enough to remember Milo and Otis? Uh, I saw a bit of that movie not too long ago, and you cannot get away with that these days. No? They're like, no, they threw the they threw the cat into a boot and threw the boot or whatever, or not a boot, like the like the jug into the water, and it went down the Dane River. <laughs> and they just filmed it. And I think one of them got bit by a bee, and they just watched it happen. Oh, bees don't bite. It's cute, but like I think like I don't think you could do that anymore. 
No, I loved that movie when I was a kid. That was one of the movies we owned and watched <laughs> just over and over and over. I'm, I'm ready for another watch than that. I haven't seen that since I, I was a kid with that soothing narrator that just narrated it over them while they just did stuff. It, it was great. I really loved that movie. They don't do a lot of cat movies. They really don't, huh? Well, that's because cats don't perform as well. Yeah, nothing like spit out as like a smart ass reply. Like I didn't have anything for really yeah. cat movies. Look at the difference between like the cat videos we make and all the awesome things Jess can do with her dogs. And the dogs are like, yay, this is fun. That is not true. You can do that with any animal. You you can, but look, we were impressed when we went to where did we go? SeaWorld or something? And they did remember that that animal performance thing they did, and they had like geese and stuff doing things and pigs, but the cats were trained, and I was impressed. I've never seen cats do much on command, so you can train them. It just takes a lot more than dog. Cats and dogs, the movie, oh my gosh, that one was so fun. I don't remember that. They were like kind of like live action almost. But yeah, um, I did notice that the cat section needs to be bigger at the PetSmart. Yeah, cats, you can hold their interest for a few minutes, and then they're just off to lick their butts. Yes, Garfield counts. Yes, that darn cat. Oh my oh gosh, my God, Garfield. What was that darn cat? Was that like a Gidget movie? <laughs> <laughs> was he Gidget in that? All right, so you're just uh, still putting stuff on there. Yeah, oh, but your hands are all in the way. There we go. Sorry, I'm in the way. Sorry, me making things is in the I'm way. I'm trying of to earn an Academy Award making. here. Yeah. Oh, I love Simon's cat too. Oh, Simon's cat is the best. Simon's cat is the best representation of cats. Like that's yes, that's cats. Ah, that's my favorite when they just point at their mouth. That's pretty much what they do. Simon cat is to me is uh, Tails. Yes. Mr. Tails is all the Simon cat things. Pet Cemetery is about a cat, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Jess. That's a good one. That is true. I really like Pet Cemetery. I like the new one because I know the story, and the new one had like a twist that I did not see coming. <laughs> Pet Cemetery is people, or I don't remember. I don't. I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, you always fall asleep when we watch movies. Oh, I fell asleep mid question last night. <laughs> we were going through questions. I was reading questions to Dan to see his opinion on whether they were too hard or not. I read a question and he didn't answer and I thought he was thinking. And I, I asked you to. I said, "Read me a question." You did, and in the time it took me to read the question, he fell asleep. I wish I could fall asleep that easily. Oh, I felt so bad. And then you stopped asking me questions. Yeah, I was done playing with you. You fall asleep. I'm like, no, ask me more questions. Ask me two. <laughs> this is a little bit time consuming, not going to lie. I asked some Simon's Cat's books. Oh my gosh, he made a book. That's awesome. Yeah, that guy's a genius. That, that guy made something that really works. Everybody knows Simon's Cat. Like, People's aunts and grandmas have posted Simon Cat's Simon's cat videos on Facebook. I love I love the animation on it. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's really flowy. I like that. Then you're knocking this out. I'm trying. It looks like you might have a little bit of left of the. I feel like yeah, maybe I shouldn't have taken some out. I don't know how much no, I you're, should you're do good. on here. I think that's probably good because it's gonna spread out. Not too much. It's a shortbread. It doesn't really spread very much. Is Jason? Jason, are you still there? J-S-O-N, are you watching? Uh, there's a cat called Nine, there's a cat movie called Nine Lives. I watched it once. That doesn't sound good. Oh, and you also watch Don't F with Cats, right? Oh, yeah, I can't watch that. I, I can't. I know that story from the internet. I will not watch that. <laughs> Is that a cat movie? Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I just know the moral of the story. Yeah. Don't F with Cats. Take, take the moral away, move on, don't watch the movie. I all, can't. All of look, it's covered? I can watch, no, not really, because you want to kind of see it through it, but you want it almost I think, solid. You sure? You should stop? Are you making this? Do, should I leave? Okay. okay. What? Are Back. you done with your close up? For a second. We get the we get the gist of it. Yeah. There we go. I'll bring it back in a minute. Are we ready for some cheese dip? I am I am absolutely ready for some cheese dip. Yes. What are we dipping? Um I have a variety of things today. I have pita bread. Hopefully it's not moldy. Even though I just bought it this week, but things get moldy quick in this town. Yeah, it's been saying. Um, and I have Snoochie Boochies. <laughs> some, uh... Hey, Dan, why are those in a bag? Oh, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I went to Aldi. I went to Aldi and I got a bag of the of the chips. And the guy, like, the guy was, like, aggressively scanning, I think. And then when I got home, they were, like, spilled all out of the bag. Like, it popped in the middle. So I don't know. Or maybe, or I grabbed a bad bag. But like, you know, I didn't like crush the bag. You sure? You know, 
Amanda, that's good? Amanda is giving away a free six-year-old that does not want to go to bed. Oh, I hate those. Oh, you should. <laughs> we yeah. used to have one of those. Um, You know what would fix Blake? Uh, opium. What? what? No. Yep. Yep. I'm smoking opium. Stop. We never gave our child opium. I like how you have to say that. Like That's, that's like a plausible Just disclaimer thing. Disclaimer in case, look. Look. <laughs> when was the last time that was a thing? Like the 1800s? No, I think opium's still a thing, Dan. Like, I can still get it think I think, like, opioids, there's a big, like, crisis pandemic thing. Aren't those things, like, a, like from, like, 100 years ago, like, lewds and opios? <laughs> no. I think we're probably good. I'm gonna be done with the rest of that dough. I can make some cookies out of it if you want some shortbread cookies. Um, you, sure. You don't know. All right, so we're gonna stick this in the oven for 30 minutes until golden. Oh. All right. Okay, so you're gonna are you gonna bring that on those one of these yellow things? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Here I am, the one that you love. Did you? I don't remember the other lyrics. It's right here. That's not where it goes. Yep, it's in the drawer. That's close. It's a C. I pass. <laughs> Barely, Dan. Barely. I like it with the pita chips. Are we close up? That's stupid. You like it with the pita chips because it's easier to like deal with when you. Smash I like it, it there. crispy with the creamy dip. We're gonna have to do both because I have to do something with this pita bread, otherwise it's gonna go bad. Yeah, it, we didn't get falafel, so we didn't really. Need I pita couldn't bread. find falafel. We'll have to make it from scratch soon. That's what I think. All right. All right. Here's where Crystal burns her mouth again. I hope not. And we let it cool for a long time. Done with that. I was just trying to like clear space so you okay. can see. All right, go for it. You bring yourself first. Oh my gosh, that's hot. Oh, that's perfect. That's really good. Let's get a close up and see what it looks like. Spinach, artichoke, and cheese. I kind of put a lot of the mozzarella on the top, so it's very cheesy on the top bit. So, Looks really yeah. good. I promise you, this goes over really well. You should totally make this when we're allowed to have parties again. Or for yourself. Screw everybody yeah. else. It's your world. We're all just living yeah. in it. Like I said, we've been making these tiny loaf, the mini loaf pans of it. I think I got these at like Michael's or something. You can get the little aluminum or whatever ones. Make it in those if you can't find any that you like that are reusable. Um, but yeah, we just make the mini ones and just put it in the fridge and make them with dinner or as an appetizer while we're getting ready for dinner. Don't watch me put this whole thing in my mouth. She doesn't want you to see that her mouth opens up like it. It's all big. <laughs> and then smashes down. Yeah, this is really good. It sat for the appropriate amount of minutes. It's really edible right now. Oh, can we go sneezing? It sounds like she's wheezing. You all right there? Yeah, she's backfiring like Uncle Buck's car. A little bit. Yoink. Yeah, this is really good. I don't like these Aldi chips because they're like puffed. It's kind of weird. That is weird. I like the Stacy's brand of pitas. So we have a little bit of time until that comes out. Okay. What you got, Dan? Uh, I only have Mario House left. Is that it? Yeah, you want to do Mario House? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I gotta move all this out of the way. Yes, we can totally move all this out of the way. Here's the thing, though. The icing that comes with gingerbread houses always sucks, so I think I might whip up some royal icing real quick. Whoa! Uh-uh! I got it. Okay. We have all this stuff here, and I'll move it real quick, and I'll bring that over, and we can check it out. So, I have seen a handful of people make this, but they've all looked really sad. They look really sad compared to the box, and no discredit to them. I just believe that the stuff that is in here is just not going to make it look like this. Yes, the main thing yes. is that the icing always sucks when you buy like pre-made things like that. Right, so everybody's that I've seen is look wonky, but I think it's due to like that part where it's just like, it's never gonna look like the package. 
So we want to try to get it to look as close to the, as to the package as we can. It looks cool. I know it does, right? But then when you see it in real life, it looks like it's on acid. <laughs> so this is what we'll do. I'll move the cheese dip and the chips, and we'll get this going here. I have not constructed one of these things in forever, or maybe even ever. Have we ever made one from a box? When Blake was younger, I think we did. All right, let's just open this box up right here. Bloop. Let me turn the brightness up a little bit so you can see a little bit better there. There we go. There we go. I want the Hogwarts gingerbread house one. Ooh, that one sounds fancy. I'm done with oh. this. Okay. All right. Where'd you take my dip? It's over there. Why would you do that? Because we're on to this next thing here. All right, so we got this thing here and you can see that it's just kind of cookie housed. Um, I should get a cutter device. I like this toad. I'm already, I'm already digging this toad cookie here. I mean, I know you can eat this stuff, but this isn't for edibles, right? Yeah, you can eat it. It's not gonna probably be the best, or maybe it will be. Don't you love Mario? Is that a gingerbread house it is? Oh my gosh. Look how cute this toadstool is. Hey Mario! So what does it come with for icing? That's what I'm curious about. Here, you can pull out the, the bottom stuff there. <gasps> it comes with black. Oh my gosh. I don't want to use these. I want to keep these for my precious. Oh Comes my gosh. Comes with red fondant, fondant and green fondant. This is amazing. Look at the, how cute the stars are. Those are really cute. All right, I gotta put this down before I break toad. Ew, this looks like a bad, like, like fruit roll up. I don't know. I just feel like this stuff never dries and that's why everybody's house is always just like, mm -hmm. Make some of your old, and this looked melted and bad. Yes. My measurement is off of here. All right, it's got come. Oh, it comes with some tips. Oh, this pat, this packet only has uh, just the tip. Just the tip right here. So there you go. <laughs> I gave you just the tip. Oh, look how cute these are. Are these edible or no? They're not. Are these erasers? <gasps> oh, I think they're candies. Oh, but I don't want to eat them. I want to keep them until they get too old and turn to dust, and then nobody gets to enjoy them. Oh, like the snowball that you put in the freezer? My snowball disappeared after like six months. <gasps> it's Mario. It's broken. Is it? Oh, it's a bee! Decapitated! Oh, yeah, it's broken like on the like. Oh, it's broken boo. like on the head. Oh, it's Mari No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Loki says, I hope our card gets there in time. If it doesn't, it's gonna catch fire. <laughs> it's not this holiday anymore, and it burns into the Phoenix, <laughs> and off it goes. <laughs> Send it back. Send it back. So I'm just gonna make the icing that I use for my sugar cookies from my Aunt Terry's recipe. Because that seems to thicken up kind of quickly. Oh, there's instructions. That's nice of them. I'm still not done eating dip. We don't need no stinking instructions. <laughs> no? Look at this tidy little box. Let's see if by the end of the show a cat sits in it. Let's set it down there. Okay, ooh, black icing? Oh no. For like outline. Remember that time you made that black cake and all our mouths turned into the like to like a horror movie? Oh, the gumdrops aren't too hard. All right, so far we're good. It's got a couple walls over here. I'm liking this so far. I love Mario. That is the best game ever. It's fun. I do like Mario. Actually, NHL hockey is the best game ever, but Mario is a close second. I like Crystal's face when Dan says something remotely dirty. No, my stuff's E for everyone. False. <laughs> I love that gingerbread house kit, me too. Me too, but you know, as seen on TV versus what it's gonna look like in real life. Let's see what we can do. We'll see, yeah, we'll see what we can do. All right, so I have a cup of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of milk. And you're still mixing, you're mixing your own piping? Piping is a verb. Frostings? Not quite. 
Um, glue? Like, edible glue? Sure. Today on Facebook, I saw posts where people were talking about, nobody eats the gingerbread houses anyway, so they just hot glue the house together. Right. And then decorate it with the candy and stuff, because most people don't really eat these. Are you going to eat it, Dan? Uh, I'm going to try to eat it like like Godzilla style, or like the <laughs> Rampage video game where I'm going to smash it and eat it, yeah. Yeah? Maybe, or I don't know. Last time, I think I think I remember when Blake was little, last time we made one, it was like unedible. Yeah. At all, like you were going to break your teeth. Oh, does that stuff come out good? Um, yeah. Oh. How are you going to get out of there? Just Whoa. like that. That takes forever. A little bit. It's still good. That's what thickens it up. Dan, I'm sure off camera your words are F-bombs too. No! Kiss my mother with that mouth? I don't think so. No? You, you no, never No! Absolutely not! Oh my gosh. As if. As if. Yeah, no f bombs IRL. Ba la ha 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 la ha ha ha. Wow, Jess was like singing songs after that. Yeah, you're <laughs> right, Jess. No f bombs IRL. That's rude. The only f bombs for me is fantastic. All right, we'll do a little bit of almond extract in here. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that acceptable with you? Is it supposed to be almond extract? Yeah, I checked. Although my recipe book actually only says half almond extract. I'm gonna assume it means teaspoon. should use a whisk, but since I already have this, I'm just going to use this. Don't close that because it's sticky. How come you're not doing this in your blender machine? Um, because it's just a small amount and it's going to like not fill up the whole bowl and take forever and I can just mix it better by hand. I don't know if that's ever going to mix together. Um, what? Trust, Dan. Trust. Okay. Let's do this. Uncle Yukon says, almond extract. Mmm. <laughs> I meant to do it this time. All right. That's pretty thick and gluey. I think that's going to work. Oh, what is in here? Oh. You better not let that lady see you do that. Oh, there's just crumbs of something. I don't know. You're going to get an email. Dan's been doing the dishes lately, and I feel like he doesn't what? always do the best job. It's the same process. Well, you're just not a pro. That's the thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's, like, little black crumbs. I don't know. Let's see, there's another one. Can you send me that cardboard when you're done? I collect the boo stuff. There's no boo on here. Is there a boo on the cardboard? There's no boos on here. You tripping. No. Don't you have a dishwasher? Yeah, but not for this thing. This thing doesn't go in the dishwasher. Yeah, some of our stuff doesn't go in It's there. clean. It's just movie magic. Hmm. You movie magically stuck a bunch of something. <laughs> it's crumbs of cookies past. Well, you want to bet Dan has a sailor's mouth off camera. You're right. Off <laughs> camera, I'm like, hey, mateys. <laughs> How much for the Krabby Patty? That's, that's a pirate. Oh, sailor. Uh, ahoy. Blutus. Bruto. Bluto. Toast. Ahoy. Okay, so I think that's good and thick. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You think that'll work? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, where are your instructications? Boo is on the map for the gingerbread. Oh, you're right, it is. Oh, yeah. Before you even begin to assemble your castle, check all the panels. As with any baked product, sometimes there may be slight shape variations in the cookie panels. Look over all the panels to be sure the edges are straight. And what are we supposed to do if they're not? Using a plastic ruler and a paring knife, trim the bottom and inside edges on each panel. Who cares that much? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna put these on the counter because I know that I cleaned the counter and I'm not afraid of my counter. 
Angela said, okay, just got our cranberry stuff in the oven. Woo oh, nice. Yeah. I didn't know you were making it also. I hope I didn't go too fast. There is a warning on a gingerbread house. Yep. <laughs> CYA. Yes. Wouldn't want it to be crooked and fall over and then people are unhappy. Ew. Can you see the grease stain on here? From what? From the gingerbread? Apparently gingerbread is greasy. Okay, that's trash. I'm not really sure about fondant. I'm not really a fan of fondant. Okay, where are you? Yeah, these are completely different sizes. Are you eating more without me? Which way does this go? Okay, where are you? Come where? here. Come help. Oh, I was shoveling food in my mouth. Okay, so... Long back, long front, short side, short side, right? Okay. So it's gonna go together like that. Hang on, I need to put some dip. Okay. Okay, so it's just two sides and then a front and a back. There's no roof to it. Yeah. Ew, this thing looks like I should have it. This thing looks like it should go on one of those dripper IV things and into my arm. What do you think? Uh, please do not use this intravenously. That's also a choking hazard if Casey decided you wanted to try to deep throw it. Uh, please don't do that. Okay. And only one, only one. Where is this though? Um, I think it's a bonus cookie. It says Chateau Un Pond de Epic. Epic. Is that what you think it says? Right. Uh, castles don't have a roof. Oh shoot, you're right. Okay, that's fair enough, fair enough. Valid point. Are you doing this or am I doing this? Definitely not edible. Get the glue gun pronto. That's what we were talking about. I All think right. the icing we're making here is gonna work pretty well. Okay. <laughs> you want me in here, but then I just gotta move out your way. I just wanted to Ooh. know if you wanted to do it and you What's... didn't respond. Okay, so this- That's fondant. Is... We unroll that last. I don't love fondant, so... What do fondant do? Is that the green? That's for the windows here. They have fondant on the windows uh -huh. and then on the door. Can I open this pack? You can. Oh, it's red. Yeah, there's, this one's green, that one's red. Oh, it's like a Laffy Taffy. Careful, because it's going everywhere. I don't think that fondant tastes good. Uh, I'll tell you. But I kind of want... I think I want to make it into the things. Okay. It's like Laffy Taffy. You do you, Dan. I don't know where they put it all at the door. Oh, they want this whole piece for the door? Okay, maybe I should use a knife. It's been a long time since we made a gingerbread house. No, fun, it's good. Yeah? yeah um, no, okay, hold on, it's flavorless. No. <laughs> Leslie's a nasty barf emoji, yes. Okay, just up against the ends, yeah? You're not piping it in there? No, I just have to make like a trail that this is so gonna stick to. Fondant dries out and gets hard to work with at times, though, so yes. be careful on how that you open it. Oh, I shouldn't have opened it yet, huh? What are you doing? You're eating it like an airhead? Yeah. Oh, it's not sour, though. Or, like, strainy. Dan, Dan, Dan. Wrap it together with barbed wire. Well, that's a good idea. Oh, I definitely used too much. You want me to hold it? Probably. I, well, I put too much. I'll hold it, and then you can, like... What? What, Shock, can, what like, can I do? Like, run your finger across it like it's cock on the, um, like, like a bathroom cocking. Where you can, like, run your finger on it. We don't have permits for this. <laughs> we do not. Mmm, white glue from gray school. Mmm, let me know in the chat <laughs> who was a white glue eater and who was not a white glue eater. Oh, gross. I do not think I was a paste eater. Were you a paste eater? You nope, like you were a paste Glenda eater. Nope, but Glenda in my kindergarten class was, and I will never forget her for that. Dang, what do you think Glenda's doing today? Eating paste, licking windows, I don't know. Licking windows? <laughs> Isn't that what you graduate to? Oh my gosh. You don't re what, what grade was the paste eater in? Kindergarten. I will Dang. never forget Since that. Since then? Yeah. Yeah, she had this frizzy, like, blackish, like, dark hair. And she sat across from me, and she would take that little stick that was in the paste bucket, and she'd oh, lick it. Like, like it was a fun dip. Oh, it was the worst. Oh. She was nasty. Oh. What are we saying? 
Nobody really wants to admit to the paste eater. They, they're glue sniffer, rubber cement sniffer. Ew. Oh. oh. Boo! It broke! No! I'll glue it back together. Okay, you're gonna have to keep holding. I was just trying to make it... Hang on, hang on. I was trying to make it so it was gonna stand once we stood it up. Is it the stand? Oh, I gotta watch that. Is that out already? Yeah, it's on CBS. I think they might have released the whole series. Oh. Okay, you need to come over here and hold this so that it doesn't fall over. Like, keep this from falling. I don't know who makes the ones that are on the box. Like, to make them look good. They Pho must be, like, commercials where they're not edible. Photoshop. They made them out of, like, glue and things. Maybe Photoshop. It's really hard. That was more about eating dirt than glue. You know, my mom used to eat mud pies, apparently. Or make her sister eat them, maybe. One or the other. Chris says, I may have sniffed a Sharpie or two back in the day. I didn't like the way Sharpie smelled. I was all about Sir Marks a lot. I was all about, what is it, Mr. Sketch? Oh, the smelly, the good smelly oh, ones. I love those. Okay, can you do this? Yeah, hold on. Okay, I got this one here. And then I'll get can I turn this. It? Yeah, you can do whatever you need to do position wise. Now I can't, like, do anything else. Nope, now you're trapped for the night. I had a pen that smelled like bubble gum. Yeah, I had. Fondant is like clay, yes. I had like two Mr. Sketch markers, like I didn't even have the whole box set. Fondant. Those. Fondant is like clay, work it and it roll it like clay. Okay, I'll unroll it to like make the door. I'll at least make the door from it. And the ink from the papers from the copy machines. <laughs> really? That's a new one. I like the smell of like Payless Shoe Store and gasoline when I was Ew. a kid. Okay, I'm gonna I like the smell of wood in like the home improvement stores. We had H and E out here. And yeah, you like loved you like the, the smell of H and E. Smelled. Oh my God, they're right. It's not flush. We should have cut it flat. Oh, we're good. Well, the backside's not flush. Okay, do you want to work with some fondant or do you want to just sit there and hold things? I'm gonna hold this for a second here because it needs to like, it needs to like chill out, bro. It needs to chillax. It's almost it's almost good. I'm just going to try to glue that back on there. Smelly erasers were popular when I was a kid. Did you have a smelly eraser? I don't remember having smelly ones, but I did have a giant eraser collection of erasers, like, in the shapes of things. Like, fruits and things. I definitely remember having a big old eraser collection. That was a thing in the 80s. So, you live there now. Right. A kid in my elementary class emptied a glue bottle and filled it with yogurt and ate it during class. A little, a little odd. Was that you? That sounds like something Jason would do. Asking for a friend. So I'm just kind of holding this right now. Yep. I'll be back. I just need uh, to sit it. Crystal and Dan, are you all making a gingerbread house? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are making it while this cranberry something good cooks in the, cooks in the oven. But I can't even eat tonight. I'm just smushing it together like I'm a clamp. Mm -hmm. I hate the smell of cigarettes and gasoline. That's like James Dean cologne. Whoa. Are you scraping it off? I think we need all of it we can get. I will say though that it's pretty stuck together. I don't think me holding it anymore is gonna help unless you want me to put a rubber band around it. No. You sure? No, it's still wiggly though. Uh, sure. Remember the fruit smelling markers? Yes, those were the ones that. Mis Mr. Sketch. That's, yeah, those are the ones that Crystal were talking about. Yeah, those were the best. My parents never bought me a full set though. In elementary school, we used to trade like pencils and things with each other, and somehow I came up on like two of the Mr. Sketch markers through trades. I remember having a light blue one. I don't remember what the smell was, but yeah, I do remember having a light blue, maybe light blue and dark blue. I always wanted a full set. Okay. Okay, what? So what am I doing next? Whatever you want to do next.
Do we start putting stuff on it? Um, I would wait a little bit until okay. it dries this for a second. Uh, yeah, I want to make sure that this okay. sets well. That's fine. Maybe we can put like heavy things up against it. Just we to make sure the, well. the front and back don't fall off. Um, good news, my Christmas tree is still alive and kicking. I have been watering it. Well, I check the water every day when Alexa pops up and tells me to. I'll stop what I'm doing and reach over and, you know, give it a check. Boop. And then, um, so it's been keeping up pretty well. I noticed the bottom ones are a little bit, a little bit more water than the top of the tree. Like the bottom of the tree, they're, they're a little bit more soft than the top of it. But it'll last till the end. Like we made it. Mouse still terrorizes the tree a little bit, but he's starting to get a little bit bored with it. He went back to his regular sleeping programming. You know? Um, so that's been good. I do like that. He took Helen's... Uh, he took Helen's star off of the tree the other day, and he was walking around with Helen's star. Yeah, in his mouth? Yeah. Yeah. And then he dropped it over there in the, in the floor. That hook's gone. There's no more hook on it at all. All right. Oh, okay, so these are Mario coins. These are actually Mario coins. Mm-hmm. Okay, those so are They stuck Mario on the front. Right. Working here? Yeah. They stuck Mario on the front with some coins around him. I mean, you can do whatever you want, however you want to decorate. We have to do it like that. We have to make sure. Does it look like it does in the? Oh, floor. you want to make it just like this? Yeah, we got to see if we can nail it. Okay. Because everybody that I've seen is melted because it comes with like inferior products in the box. Gotcha. So you want to roll out the red fondant to cut it in the door shape. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to do that since the door is on the thing. I don't know how you like judge the size. Uh, of what part? The door. The oh, red for the door. We'll do that. Well, look, you just count how many over. One, two, three, four blocks over. And then one, two, three, four blocks over. No, I know where to put it. There's a, a shape on here. Oh, okay. Then, uh, then I'm confused. What, what am how, I... how do you know how to make this size? Oh, I I just like, there's no, there's it doesn't come with a template. It does not. Then I just improvise. Okay. Do, 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 do you want to do, do it on do, a do, 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 plate or something? Do, 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 do. No, we just do it right here on the counter. Okay. The counter do, is plate. Do, 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 um, so you're only going to use do, a little bit of that because the rest of that goes on here. And then you're going to put white circles of, I guess, frosting, even though it looks more like fondant on the picture. Do, 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 do. I'm not even allowed to hum this on, am I? Okay, can, do, how, do I, how do I smush this out? Should I put this more towards the front? Hang on. Because look, this... No, oh no, I guess that just fits there, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bow, 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 bow. I'm going to put this out of the way so it does not get ruined. What do I do? Do I mash this out with a roller? Um, you shouldn't do it on the counter because you're getting crumbs of other things in it. But they are crumbs. Yeah, but then it's not going to be clean looking because it's going to have crumbs from the shortbread in it. Um, we need it like way thinner. Yeah, I think you need to, like like someone was Kathy, saying... Kathy said to put it like clay. Yeah, so you just have to... I don't know how clean your hands are. Mm, I mean, you know, they've been in my pocket. I did clean them after the store, but... I don't know. They came out when I was in elementary school in the 70s, the markers. And they were too expensive, so my parents never got them for me. But my friends had them. We all shared. When I dug into mom's drawer when I was a kid, there was a few, there was like three or four of them in there. So somebody got some at some point. Right, but you get the three or four. No, nobody. I didn't know anybody who had like a whole. Somebody had to have had the whole set because somebody was trading them around the school. But. Right. I feel bad. I feel like Leslie should get a set of of uh, <laughs> Mr. Sketch. Mr. Sketch. Yeah. I feel like the more I squish this, the pinker it gets. Okay. Right. 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 Which kind of sucks. Wait, where'd you go? You were making a door. Can you roll it out? Uh, Brittany had the whole pack. Yes, Sarah, I know you can still get them. I think I saw them at uh, uh, Costco. Okay, so I want to leave enough of this for that. Let's see. This will be easier to do, I think. It'll be easy to judge the shape. I don't know if you guys can see this. I wish this was more red. It really got pink the more that I squished it. I don't want to squish it on the cookie because then it's going to break the cookie. I guess that's kind of working. And then just kind of squish it down to the corner. I don't know that I want to eat this much fondant on a cookie. We were watching the, oh, it was something. It was like a Christmas cookie baking challenge or something. We had it on the background while we were working on some other stuff last night. 
And the one girl put the thickest fondant on her cookie. Like, you're on a cookie competition. Why are you putting that much fondant on your cookie? They just, pe- the judges just peeled it off. They were so grossed out. All right. It's not very smooth, though. Oh, well. That's that. I'm mad at that show. That was injustice. Oh, we were really mad at the person oh, who won was, one of the rounds. It was really bad. It was really bad. Okay, so the door is not really that big. You want me to smush it out to make it a door? And you want to work on Toad's head? Oh, you already I, got Toad's head. I did Toad's head. Oh, Toad's head is on fire. I love it. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. It's, it's kind of a little bit uneven. Uh, I don't really know what's happening here. Yeah, Toad's head's jamming. They give you just enough. But yeah. I will say it is a little bit redder on there. Oh, did I get to make the door lines? You can make the door lines. I would just smash... Stop, don't cut me. I would just smash the back of the knife into it flat. <gasps> Things are happening in the oven. Is it going on top of the oven? Um, probably. Let me see how done it looks. Um, I'm going to go just another minute. Okay. It's 8.27. Okay, let me... There's timers for that. Yeah, I like to eyeball it so I can forget about it. This was going to be your job, but here I, will, I am. I, I'll do it, uh, but then you have to do something else. Like what? I like it. It looks like a ton. <laughs> a little bit, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. I just need to figure out how to make it flat across the bottom. I feel I like... I think we should use some of the icing I made to stick it on there. Okay. The one in the picture looks airbrushed. Oh, absolutely. There's, like, depth to it. It looks like Dwarven Forge. It's all, like, awesome. It looks like what? Dwarven Forge, like the little, like, Dungeons & Dragons, like, 3D model play sets. Someone knows what Dwarven Forge is, right? <laughs> Michaels has sets of uh, of this, of the Super Mario Gingerbread No, I think we're still talking about the markers. Oh, right, yes. Definitely. Yeah? Maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, it looks about right. And then we'll cut the bottom a straight line, and then it'll look straight like it did on the box. How come you don't cut it with the sharp side? Because I, I wanted to like dig it in like that. Gotcha. Yeah. Now it's a little bit short, but we'll do some icing around the top. So, no, I was going to do that side, but this, I don't know. Whichever side you think looks better, could put your door creases in it. Shows three creases. Look, okay. one. Oh wait, it's curved so on the plate, so you can't really get a good flat crease so on here. So put it on the counter or something, or you didn't want it on the counter. That's not gonna work either. It'll whip. On the Can counter. Can I hear? That's cleaner. It came from the store. It's going on the table. You're not eating it anyway. Don't go all the way through. I thought you were doing... Wait. It's not straight. <laughs> no, it's so uneven. What did the door, you do? The door is flawed. It said it's flawed. Okay. That stuff looks nice and thick. I like I like that goo. Thanks. I made it myself. I do like that. Now I feel like I need to go get these markers so I can live vicariously through my grandbabies. <laughs> Leslie, you definitely should. You absolutely should. They're nothing but fun. For half the fun in like raising Blake was going like, oh, I didn't have this in my childhood. Let's get this for him. Right. He had tons of stuff that I wished I had had when I was a kid. Most of it he didn't really care as much about as I did. You may want to hold that on there for a second. Okay. But be careful because I feel like the sides still aren't a hundred percent set. All right. They're I'll hold they're it on pretty there. good, but I don't know that they're a hundred percent. So. I'm glad your icing that you made is working out better than the icing you get with it. We don't know, but we should check because we're never going to use it for anything else. Yeah, you can use this for like the decorating and stuff, but it, this definitely has more of a frosting kind of texture. Actually, this thing's on there. 
Yeah, you think? Yeah, I'm pushing it a little bit. Pull down. I, I'm pushing a little bit. It's not moving. Okay. Well, I'm not worried about it moving. I'm worried about it just peeling off. So nah. just kind of keep an eye if on so, it. If so, the drawbridge is down. <laughs> right? You gotta let Jon Snow in. Mm hmm. No? Thinking? All right. I'm thinking that. So, what's our next step here? You is tell it, me. What are you doing next? I think we need to give Toad. I think we need to give Toad some some completion here because he looks like he's got a red afro, which I think is jamming, by the way. Like yeah, I kind of dig in that. Yeah, it's got good texture. Okay, to it. do you want to try it with this? With their piping? Yeah. Don't, are we supposed to make a thicker round edge and then fill it according to that cookie baking show yesterday, the Injustice cooking baking show? <laughs> yes. It was pretty Injustice. Yes. Uh, Leslie wants to know what I'm drinking. So Dan got these twisted teas. This one tastes like a Kern's Nectar. It's not carbonated. You can't taste the alcohol in it. And it literally just tastes like a Kern's Peach Kern's Nectar. Are you just selling those now? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with that. I occasionally try the things that Dan gets, and I usually don't like them. But like, never? Yeah, most of the time, no. But that one's pretty good. Okay. I don't know. Am I supposed to cut something off of this? Angela says cookies. No, nah, I yes. mean, I guess this is supposed to be a cookie, but I don't know if, oh, how I feel about guys putting let me forget. toad in my mouth. Oh, those things. Oh, it's still good. Is it still good? Can you put it on the first? Uh, on I the need more information. On the this first one? thing? No, the other one. The other first. Like in, I think it was better here. Okay, yes, please. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I think so. It's nice and crispy. Okay. Yeah. That looks good. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't made it in years, but it should taste good. I don't. I feel like it doesn't look like the pictures of what I made before, but um, it's a little bright on the camera. But I don't know if I, I can't do anything about that. Quarter inch. How much is a quarter inch? Like about right there. Like this little cut. Uh, no, no, no. Like, 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 like closer to the tip. But there's an indentation. Okay, then cut it at the indentation. I just feel like a lot's gonna come out at once. It's gonna get a tip on it. Yummy time! I don't know. We don't even get to eat it today. Nope. No, we'll premiere it on Dantex tomorrow, I guess. Okay, so now that I've done this, I've hidden the where the spots are. Because this is on here. Ew, I don't like the texture of fondant at all. So I'm okay with it. I don't know. Here, do you want to... It's starting to come out. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a feel for how I thick it is. I feel like it's just going to run everywhere. No, it's pretty thick. So not the eyes. Look, you're just gonna make three dots on his head. Dude, dude. A, look, dude. a big one in the center and two smaller ones on the side that are gonna be more ovals because his head's dude, brown. Dude, 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 okay, dude, you work dude, on that. Dude, I will be right back. Dude, dude, dude. Is there another dude, one of these? Dude, dude. Yes. Dude, 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 Let's start over. Do 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 do. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, looks like I messed up a little bit. That's okay. I'll just wipe it off here. It's still good. I'll come back to this end in a minute. I'll come back to this end in a minute. It looks like a giant Pop Tart. I'm probably not as good. Let me look at the box again. Okay, smaller. Smaller, Dan. <laughs> That's better, I guess. Get in there. Okay. You go in here more. That's not really a circle. That's I, that's that, that's not really that's not really a circle. Okay, the other one's just a big old oval. Let's see if I can nail this one. I don't think I've ever done this before, ever. I think this is my first time piping thing something, probably. It's actually kind of fun. It's rewarding. 
Except for it looks more like fondant in the photograph than it does here on this thing here. Bloop. It looks more like fondant. And it's also like rounder. Dan and Crystal, can I send a package to your PO? Sure, yeah, absolutely. You're doing great, I'm trying. You're always so positive, Crystal. <laughs> Look at this photograph. But like, <laughs> nail it. <laughs> He's got this big old Gorbachev on his head. <laughs> Look at this photograph. I know. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Let's do the third one now. This is fun, though. Not fondant. It's fun, though. Doing it wrong. Oh, man. That wasn't... Wash my hands because I stopped with the cat. That wasn't as easy as I thought. No, how to turn it? Oh, why'd you do it so thick? Right in your mouth? Someone's gonna make that a gift. No! <laughs> How'd that go? Uh, it's hard. I scraped it off and started over, but it's. Did you? <laughs> yeah, it tastes good, but it's hard. Because like, okay, it looks like this fondant is on there, open. and this is like, how do you get it to like, to like mush in the Yeah, lawn? that, on the picture, it looks like they use fondant. They absolutely, like, that does not look like the icing at all. So you're gonna use this for the eyes. Okay, that other stuff tasted good. Yeah, it's frosting or icing. So just outline like in the groove and then fill it in. The groove is in the heart. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. The groove is in the heart. Dang, look at you cracking. I know, and I haven't even had dinner. I just ate some cheese dip. Does it fill in or is it just the outline? Fill it in. The outline is the shape to help you. Um, instead of lifting up, go to the side. Or like drag it across it almost. Then you won't have that piece that goes up. Your what eyes are looking perfect. What do you mean? Like you lifted it up so it gave it a point. Stop squeezing and drag it across it instead of up. Okay. Good enough. It like settled in there. That's good. You're pretty good at that one. All right, so then wipe off that tip so you don't have a blob. Okay. And then see how it's outlined here and it's outlined here. Oh, on this thing? Yeah. I should have done that first and laid it down, right? Grease gun, it does look like a grease gun. No, because then how do you squeeze it together? Oh, I don't know, movie magic? I think, okay, so this has kind of a rubbery texture now. Okay. Like it's not completely solid, but uh -huh. I think it's gonna hold together pretty well. I don't anticipate it flopping. So you're going to outline across the top bit. OK. I'll do that first. Yes. OK. I want to put this where this is left. <laughs> Brittany has a boo tattoo. That's awesome. I would love to see that. Look at this photo. Samantha Thanks said, you. who likes Mario? I want to know, like, are you looking for confirmation? Or are you like, oh, who likes Mario? Well, she's trying to hype up the room. Who likes Mario? <laughs> That's what I wanted to know. I, I needed some clarification. Everybody likes Mario. Don't squish it against it. You got this. Not so far out. Just don't squish it into it. Okay, you got it. Now wipe it off because you have a blob on the end. And then oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm like Pueblo Picasso. Oh wait, before we do that, we should probably put the window bits on because the window bits are going to squish against where you're outlining. So let's set this aside. Where's your green fondant? This is fun. Yeah? This you is fun. yourself? Yeah. Fondant? <laughs> okay. Yes, Brittany, please send a photo to RFS Cats. I would love to see that. I really love tattoos when they're really well done. I'm so scared to get one. I'm so scared it would be screwed up and then I'm stuck with it forever. I used to want this turtle with some purple tennis shoes on and I had multiple artists draw it out. I probably, the tattoo artist probably absolutely hated me because I had multiple artists draw it out for me. Wasn't happy with how it looked ever and never ended up getting it. All right, so what do we do now? We're trying to make the windows? Yeah, this is really bright green compared to the pinkish red. It is, huh? Yeah. 
I'm excited to do more squirt gun. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, look, there's white stuff on the top, too. That's for later. Yes. Sweet. Okay. Are you just going to kind of cut it out? Yeah, I think that's going to be best. So I'll squish it flat. I don't know... Uh, Angela says, our cranberry stuff just came out of the oven. Smells and looks d and delicious. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at ours real quick. Can we see it now? Is that on there? Yeah, it's a little washed out. It is. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. Oh, well, maybe I can't. Um, I was having webcam issues. I think this thing's kind of, the webcams are just kind of dying. I'm trying, but they keep having, they keep having issues when I go to the properties to try to adjust anything. Like everything's just grayed out. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't adjust anything. It's all just grayed out. I'm sorry. All right, I need to kind of judge. Oh, now it like dot. Look at there you go. That oh. now 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 gave up on all the settings. There you there you go. All right, so we're working with the window. Looks great. It does look great. I have two tattoos. I'm gonna get another one tomorrow. Oh, I, awesome. I would be addicted to tattoo. Like, I I would just be addicted You've to You've talked a lot about wanting to get a Mario sleeve. I would get a Mario sleeve, but then, like, I forget about it, so I might as well just not. Because, like, <laughs> if I really wanted it that bad and, like, I would love it every day, I would talk about it every day. And not forget about it? And not forget about it, so. Oh, I kind of squished my fingernail into it. Use the other side. Okay, so... Does that work? Yeah, do you want to measure both windows before you put them on? No, I'm going to make the other one the same size. I'm doing a gamer sleeve. That'll be fun. Ooh, that's awesome. I have a dog and a cat tattoo on my leg, so you don't forget. I would love to have a really well done tattoo of like Mooch's face, like where, or like where on it's... your back, like Stevo. Uh, no, see that's the thing. And where do you put it? I like I don't that. just want it like here. I... Sleeves are great. Sleeves when they all like work together and you've got this thing going on is great. But like, oh, I'm too much of a perfectionist that like nothing could be wrong with it, or I would just nitpick it all the time. And oh, there, there's a reason I don't get tattooed. Did you already make spinach artichoke dip? Yes, Samantha, and we ate it Made all. Made it and ate it. I can show you what's left of it. Yeah, you burp. <laughs> <laughs> no, like there's a little bit left in the dish. Okay. So we have two windows? Yeah, this two one's a little squares. bit thicker, but I think it's good. Yeah, you're going to outline around the edge anyway with the black. Okay. Okay, so... Let's get some of our icing that I made here because it's a little thicker and works better as a glue. That's really thick. Make sure they don't slide down the front. Uh, pretty good to me. It's coming alive. Oh, my tongue. What are you doing to my mouth? Oh, no. They're going to be mean to me. <laughs> when I squished it on there, I kind of squished some of your grooves out, so I was trying to make better grooves. Is it time to do some piping? Yeah, I just want to make sure these are going to stay. I was kind of a little heavy with the icing to get them to stick, so I want to get some of this excess off of here. My tattoos are for my son. He gets to pick out your tattoos? Blake, get your own tattoos. <laughs> Blake would never. He'd get a SpaceX tattoo. Probably. Okay. I'm just gonna make you some uh, shortbread cookies real quick. 
but you can go ahead with whatever it is you're doing there. Okay, so the next thing to do is pipe black around here on three sides. Uh, the three sides of the right, window? Right, you see the window uh, here? You may want to do the white first. On the top of the snow? Um, or the, the white, on, yeah, the white on the top of the snow and then the white on the, no, because that, that requires gummies. We'll do that last. Okay, so I'll do the, I'll do the clouds underneath here. Oh my gosh, this is impossible. It's just going to like run or something. Does it look like clouds? A little bit. I feel like I learned this movement from watching the people in the baking show. Oh, I almost had it. No, it doesn't look like clouds. It looks like, like I splooted a bunch of like uh, fondant goo. What's this stuff called? Icing. So this looks like I just put a bunch of icing on there. Now I messed it up by touching it. Oh, look, it's got a teardrop. <laughs> it's crying. I don't know if these are gonna work, but at least I used up the extra dough. Okay, that was kind of sad. All right, now I gotta put a couple Mario stars on here. Oh my gosh. Do your outline first, your black. Oh, okay, but do the black now? Yeah. Okay, cool. And that goes right underneath the window. Around oh. the top of the window? Oh, what did we you had a, do? We had, a, we, had a, Fuck. we had an earthquake. Help. I spilled. Oh, just move your stuff and then you're good. No, no, it's like going everywhere. Oh, no. Okay. Dang. We had like a complete counter catastrophe. <laughs> a little bit, huh? Oh, no, I put black icing on my mouth. Oh, that's there for Oh my gosh, now I have a black tongue like a giraffe forever. Now your clouds are squished. It's okay. My clouds were tired anyway. All right. All right. All blue, all Hang black on. outline. Hang on. We're going to have to hold this together a little bit for a minute. Dang. I knew we should have taken those anchors and drilled on there. Pour one for the castle wall. Oh. <laughs> Apparently I did. Oh. <laughs> I poured some out for it. <laughs> I kind of poured a lot out. <laughs> Chris will ask for help, Dan watches. That's There's usually how it goes. There's nothing I could do. You're just gonna watch it soak in? What am I supposed what was I supposed to do? Push you out the way? Something. No, that was some you cried wolf. What's that guy's name? <laughs> Jim cried wolf? Who cried wolf? The boy? Just up one. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going too thick and it's not sticking enough. Look, see how it ran down? Yeah, just up down, but I don't know how you're gonna get to the other side. Like, I'm just gonna go for it. No, but I mean, because the thing is they're holding it together. Oh, that's okay. This is starting to look like it did from all my friends' pictures that I saw that I was doing this. Yeah, that you thought you were gonna nail it, and now it just looks like everybody else's because it's not as easy A as little bit, right? Yeah, these always sound like a great idea until you start doing it, and you're like, this is really difficult. I will say I'm having a lot of fun. That's good, that's all that matters. I mean, I don't know if Princess Peach wants to get rescued in this. <laughs> I don't know what to do to make this stick better. Because it's pretty solid now. Yeah, I got, I got, I got to lay some more piping. <laughs> You want to try some? No, I just want to try to make sure that it's not going to fall. And then I made the windows way too thick, so I'm not sure how you're... Oops. I wasn't supposed to go down there. Whoa, 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 you're rubbing... You need to go more horizontal. Oh, oh to... right uh, in the cloud, do that, do Dan! That Dan, someone's about to have a bad night. <laughs> oh my gosh. You hear that out there? Yeah, I don't know. Is the window sliding down? What's happening? Uh, I think I went the wrong way. No, I'm okay. Uh, the window's hanging in there. Okay. You know? It's a little slippy sloppy. I just don't know how we're supposed to help. The princess is in a better castle. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Are you shooting through my bangs? No. I'm Feels good. like you are. I know, but no, you're good.
the forbidden icing. I know, right? It's so black. Oh, did you hear the guy go by on his motorcycle? It's fast. You can do it. I'm doing it. It's warm in here. Did you just outline that one? <laughs> like what? you went the wrong way. Uh, over here? Yes, I went one the wrong spot. I went the wrong way right there. You yes. You had for one sure. job, Dan. I know, and I went the wrong way. You got it. So, what is the history of this castle? Back in 1984, <laughs> Mario lost, or Mario had to find the princess because Bowser took him, or King Koopa, depending on what you what, what you call him. You know, it's kind of like being a trekker or a trekkie. You know, you call him one or the other. And then Mario had to save her because I guess it was good, and he really needed to save her. You know, give it up, bro. Yeah, look, it looks a little bit more thing. What did you do? Like try to beat it? Like put like beads there? Yeah. Yeah, that works. It's a Ford castle. They all fall apart. Uh-oh. Oh, it's getting too thick. Need some Gorilla Glue. <laughs> Suddenly starting to see why people hot glue their gingerbread right. houses. <laughs> I was trying to cover up the black blob that got into the white, but I don't think it's working. You got this. It looks good. It looks more cloudy than it than it did when I did it. I got a little bit of decorating skills. I'm a Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Plymouth person. Yes, I still <laughs> care about Plymouth. All of them? All right. Plymouth with some love. All right, I'm just going to go around here. PJ's trying to rep his car. 1996 Plymouth Voyager. A uh, 96? Oop, <laughs> I don't know anything about Plymouth. I'm just making fun of you. Just for no reason. Eh, ish. Mm-hmm. Megan says, I'm a Chevy girl. I like my bow ties. <laughs> that looks good. All right. So get your gummy blobs. My gummy blobs are right here. Yeah, open them up. All right, hold on. I gotta put the camera away. One of these days, I'm gonna miss when I put it back in here. Gummy blobs. They're kind of soft too. They're not too hard. I was squishing them. They're definitely edible. I kind of want to eat one, but there might not be enough. Yeah, we gotta put them on the door. Okay. So. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna squish it onto the bottom of it. Okay. Hang on, we've made a mess. Yeah. And then just alternate, it looks like the oh, bottom. Oh, they're gone. Oh, hang on, hang on. It looks like the bottom one is vertical. Oh, is there a different so, shape one? Yes, no, it's just stuck on there vertically, so we need to put the glue on there okay. this way. And then the next one's green. So put it vertically with the fat part at the bottom. Flip it over. Touching the ground? Like next to that, like there's gonna be a white outline staying there. Okay. That'll do. Yeah? <laughs> That'll do. Sweet. Okay. Where are you going? Right here so the camera can see me. Okay, squish it on. Okay. Do, do, do. No, what was it? Terry, Terry made Mario noises the other day and she started with one dash two. Do, 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 do. <laughs> she did. Do, 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 do. I'm like, that's your default Mario, one dash two? It's working. It's working. Wait, let's, how many do they say that goes on? I here? don't know, and that's why I'm saying, like, let's do a one, two, vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, okay do your vertical on the other side. Is 
This is actually working. Good. Still the other That's side? That's the point. Yeah. I'm starting to get happy. This is making me happy. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's working. It's like, oops. I oh my god. Sorry, I looked at the um, screen. Go wash your hands that you just put in your mouth and now Why? Because you put it in your mouth. Oh my gosh. You're turning into that lady. You are turning into that lady. And I just wiped my hands on my pants. Awesome. I won't be eating any of this. You're not going to eat any of it anyway. Probably not. There's towels in the drawer. I just used them all to clean up the drink fail. It's so rewarding, it like wants to stick. I'm glad you made this other, oh, no, this is the fun. Or this yeah. is the stuff that comes with it. Okay, so that's not so bad. That's not so bad then. It works well, I just don't think it's gonna dry as quickly as what I made. Here's what I'm worried about though. Like there's supposed to be four more. Yeah, I'm not sure. We're out of green now. How, okay, hold on. This is our last green, so you're, One, two, you might three, have to like four, spread five. them out a little One, bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's that. No, that worked perfectly. Right, but now we're supposed to have four different ones. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. it didn't come with nearly as many as we're it shows on there. We're supposed to have eight more because the box shows that they're all around there, seven on each thing. Maybe they cut them in half. But there's supposed to be enough to go up on all of them. What did we draw? Did we put too many on here? One, two, three, no, four, five, six, seven. No, we did how many it shows. Four, five, six. I think six. they just didn't give us enough. Is this, what is this, how am I supposed to save the princess? You are how? Not. Okay, so where do you want to put these on the top then? It's your call. Uh, eat more vegans with the super chat. What's up, Al? Um, it needs more red. Put some bacon bits <laughs> oh on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but what if they're bacos? Those aren't even real bacon bits. Or we put they're this? They're soy. <laughs> um, do you want to do it somewhere on the top? We have three of them, so it's your call. Well, yeah, I'm going to put them like here. Three of them? Yeah, we have an odd number. Oh my gosh, I'm getting other candy. We have plenty of I am get, candy. I'm getting other candy. You want to put some, like, nerds gummies on it or something? I something. No, can we just, I'll just put one in the middle then. Is this that what is, you want to Yeah, do? this is ridiculous. You feel gypped. Let's call them, is there a number in the box I can call? About being shorted? Yeah. You can if you want. What are these things called? These are called, uh, it didn't even, it doesn't work that way. I put it in your mouth. No. It's not going to fit. Yep, two for the castle, one for Dan. Brittany called it. All right. All right, okay. is it Mario time? No, it's time to put the stars on the middle. Okay. There's a lot of stars. Yeah, and it only has three on there, so they should have given us more gummy what gum, these stars? drop. That's what they're called. These stars are amazing. Check this out, how I'll bring it close to you so you can see. Yeah, they're just like a hard candy. Are they? Yeah, you can eat one. We have plenty. Look at that. Those are so cute. I don't know which way's up. This way's up. Okay. I'm yeah, back no. to the castle. You have black on your finger. Do you want to wipe that off? Or put it in your mouth. Yep. Oh, I gotta get to that. Here, you give me this. Good don't luck. don't worry about what... <laughs> I got it. Uh-oh. I don't know if those are really working. Oh, it was upside down. That's oh, like my God. Surgical precision. And I managed to get more black on me somehow. How? I don't know. Oh, I just wiped frosting on your arm. Ow. <laughs> yeah, ow. You're a big faker. Oh, I got it. I got it. It's on there. Hurry, take a picture. Hurry, somebody take a picture. Okay, which way's up? He goes... Oh, they, don't, they didn't stamp him right. Oh, do you want a different one that stamps him? No, it's okay. He's just looking the other way. Out. It's okay. A little bit. It doesn't want to separate a little bit. I do want to eat one of these. Oh my Maybe gosh. I can. I'm going to eat one of the stars, yeah, and for the next 30 seconds, I'm invincible. <laughs> I am. Do, 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 whoa, do, whoa, do, whoa. Do. Here, let me jump on your head real quick. I'm still invincible. No, I'm trying to fix stuff, and you're just like smashing, crashing. These are actually really good, actually. Oh my gosh. The stars are cute. I know. Use tweezers, Dan, to put candy on. That's a good idea, but. I, my, I got tweezers right here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me come to this side. What's next, okay. Mario? Um, it looks like we gotta put some coins around Mario, but Mario... But you should put Mario on first. But Mario's decapitated. That's fine, we can stick his body on, and uh -huh. then stick his head on, like, up against it, so it looks like it's not decapitated. Can you apply it directly to the forehead? Um, I guess, if you want to. I think we oh, have... Oh, look at Mario comes, here. like, in a dime bag. 
I gotta cut you out. Are you sure this isn't plastic? It's like edible? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a hard candy. Man, it oh sucks that he's decapitated. Are you gonna fondant him back together? I am honestly impressed that more of it wasn't broken. Uh, it feels like a, a licky stick for the fun dips? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, no, the best way to do this is not to stick it together. You're just but gonna to put it on Put one half pieces. on. Okay. Okay. Where are you going? Because you need to put it on. <coughs> I was just moving, like, I was just moving out the way. Wait, does he touch the ground? No, I don't touch the ground. He's Mario. He's jumping. He's gonna get hops. I'm a little disappointed that there's no question mark squares. A little bit, but there's a lot of stars. But this is fun. Just make sure you don't push it forward. Okay, there we go. I think that that's good right there. And then you murdered Mario. He was he came murdered out of the package. He came decapitated. Murder was the case that I gave him. Okay. <gasps> Are you holding your breath? Yep. Everybody in the chat room, be quiet. I see a little sadness on this corner right here too. You gotta, we gotta watch out for that. Okay, what okay. Are you, what are we talking about? Like, see how it's just a little like crack there. Yeah, the piece broke off. Oh, and it I broke, glued okay. it back on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, I like this. We're getting it so far. I kind of feel like I'm gonna lower this down a little bit so we can kind of. Oh, actually, we'll just leave it. It's fine. We'll leave it. It's fine. All right, time for coins. Time for coins. So. You... Oh, and wait, we have mushrooms too. All right. Oh. Oh, you mean the put on, okay. <laughs> well, the company knew Dan would probably break Mario anyway, so they pre-broke him. <laughs> that, nothing wrong with that, although if that was the case, I would like to break it myself. I'm very good at breaking things. Yes, you are. You know. Usually if they're mine. It's on my skill set. You break a lot more of my own my stuff than your own stuff. I've broken a lot of your stuff. Most recently, my coasters. I feel bad about that. They shattered. They, it loud broke too. It did. It was like angry crying. It like loud broke. All right. What's your favorite mushroom? Is it the green mushroom or the red mushroom? Reds gives you the one ups, and then the or the greens gives you the one ups, and the reds give you that big. You gotta get big. I also feel like the scaling's a little bit different. Absolutely. On there too, like it's way wider on there. Okay, so yeah. we got. Okay, coins. We got some stuff on there. Okay, we'll open up the coins here. Do you want to dump some on here? Right here. Yeah. Oh look at it! <laughs> that was kind of satisfying, huh? I want a coin. Why do they give you so many coins? There's seven on the box, and there's like a hundred coins here. Ugh. Okay. Everybody said red, red, red. Everybody likes those red uh, mushrooms. But the greens are one-ups. Right. But the red ones get you big. That's that much closer to fireballs. It's true. Do, 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 do. Where's the red coins? Man, you gotta get those seven red coins. Do, 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 I'm do, kind do, of really do, glad do, that we got this. You're really enjoying yourself like a child. I am. Do you know why? Because this isn't cheap, and I recognize things. I recognize the stars. I recognize the coins. I recognize the Marios. It doesn't look... It looks like it's done right, so... How many of these do you want? Do you want to do more stars? It has one more star on there. No, he's going to get one up. Is there a hundred... Is there a hundred of these? <laughs> no, but... We need to get Mario a one up. I'm giving him extra ones because it's Christmas time. Okay. Dan loves his edible toy. Oh my gosh, I sound like a dog. Um, Brittany said eight red coins, Dan. Oh, my bad. Maybe it's because I only get seven. <laughs> You've never actually gotten eight. I don't know. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm like that Julius Caesar guy, like making paintings and <laughs> dressings. That's what you think Julius Caesar did? Yeah, salad paintings dressing. Paintings and salad dressing, huh? Right. Um, and then he made the casino. And then Evil Knievel jumped it. <gasps> oh, Dan. Okay, um, that's all. Well, then you have to eat this one. This one, too? Yeah. Okay, I need more stars. Careful, don't dump them everywhere. I need more stars to go around here. Whoa, I made it to the live streams. Hi, guys. Hello. 
we're making a gingerbread house because we made all the other stuffs, and it's been fun. Yeah, that one has an ugly eyes. These aren't very well stamped at all. No? No. Oh, this is starting to look good. I'm gonna lower it down so we can see it better. This is making me, ha this is making me happy. I feel like they've done a really good job with this. Yeah? Yes. Okay, work with me, hold on. Except for that one part where you outlined wrong? <laughs> I did. Otherwise it looks good. Okay. Put a star over here. Now what, what do we need? What are we missing on are here? Are you done with stars? I don't know, we'll look at it, what are we, what are we missing? What, um, do you, what do you guys think, chat? What, what, what do we so need to do this? It has clouds all across the top, like white across the top bits. Okay, could you get some white across the top bits? I probably can. Yeah, I'm digging this. Cover the extra outline with a star. Cover the extra out the extra outline with a star. Which, which one? Where you screwed it up? Oh, right. We could put a coin in there. Oh, but I put a star below it, and now the fence sways off. Look at that elbow cam. You like that? Yes. Elbow cam brought to you by Pepsi. I guess I could put some back here for some depth too. Okay. I like this. This is cute. This is cute and 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 I think even if we just work the stuff out of the kit, it's fine. But I like the stuff that you made for the glue. Yeah, it worked a little bit better, I think. Because this stuff is not solidifying like much at all. I think it works well to hold the little bits on, but I think it's not necessarily strong enough to hold the weight of the sides together. Steve says, you need a Lakitu. I think, is that one of, uh, is that one of Koopa's children? Oh, they're all named after something, like presidents or something. The castle looks really nice, right? Princesses have come to this one now, right? We're good. You can't even tell that Mario was decapitated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at there it is. Uh, yeah, the piping's a little thicker. It's One of the windows is starting to drip off a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. I like this. Leslie, we got this. I think we got this at Joanne. Joanne Fabrics. Um, By then they were already clearance in them yes, out. Yes, I heard they were sold out. We got them on Black Friday when it was on clearance and coupon codes and all kinds of stuff. So we got a pretty good deal on it. I don't know if you can get them anymore. I heard they were selling for much more now. But I know, huh? Like on uh, on the internet? Yes. Yeah, like you can go get it on eBay or something. Oh, the Lakitu is the guy that floats in the cloud. Oh, right, with the camera. With the camera? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, is he the one that throws down the spiky ones, or is he the one with the camera? I think he's the one with the camera. Star between the windows! Crystal the animal with a super chat. Absolutely. You super chat it, we will do it. So, yes. Is it happening? Star between the windows. Would you also like me to remove the other star since it's in its way? So, I don't want to, you know, I can, I can relocate this star up here if you'd like. All right, here we go. This is just for you. Between the windows, Dan. Do you know what you're doing? Wait. Oh, between the windows. Not the <laughs> okay. Oops. That's. I thought you wanted it between the block. Oh no, I gotta stand it up. Okay. There we go. Do you wanna push it a little more? Yeah. Bam. That is just for you. This is great. I like this thing. Oh, honestly, it looks really good yeah. in real life. Um, you know, it's funky because like you know humans made it or whatever. But that looks really good. I recommend you getting this. Wait, what? What's going on? I think your cookie turned out pretty darn well. Um, Brittany says he, it's a camera from Mario 64. He throws spiny the other time. Oh, okay, right. He took a life of crime. Take a bite out of crime. Oh, um, that's okay. That was just a weird angle. Oh wait, where's our green? Where's our our underneath? It's up there. Our underneath. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, what I am I doing? I moved it out of the way so you didn't ruin it. Oh, oh but is it going to slide under your gold oh, ropes no. now? Hurry, minute to win it. You could do it. Hurry. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, it needs to slide under the door. 
That's good. That's good to see it there. That's good. We'll put this on the roadway here. There we go. Okay, now I can get a photo before it falls. Bam, we did it! We did it! Gotta have Boo in there. Boo's there. Yes! I'm impressed. I am impressed too. That turned out pretty darn well. Mm hmm. Well, there we go. We the back a, of it's. We not... have a ton of extra fondant and a ton of extra coins. Do we want to. De let's decorate these cookies. They're not really, like. <laughs> they're not really cookies. What are they? I didn't really know how a shortbread cookie would cook, so yeah, there's I like just six it. of them. Let's decorate them. Okay, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna make this one. They're still warm, so the fond the icing is just gonna kind of melt. It is, huh? They're not gonna stick to it. You should let it cool, probably. I mean, you can you can try one. Go for it. Well, what? then that's it. We're done. Whatever you want to do, Dan. We did all the things. We've done all the things. Dan's on a roll. I don't know what that is, but I'll take the roll. <laughs> okay, I love the house. Thank you. I think this is great. Leslie says make a Dan Hawk and put it on the door. I think. What's a, how would we do that? Like draw on the door? I feel like doors need doorknobs. Otherwise, they're not doors. Did it dry? Keep the house away from the cats. <gasps> Let's put the house on the ground and see if the cats destroy it. They'll try to eat it. I don't want them to eat it. Ooh, that looks good. Like a hawk wreath. Oh, from one of the cookies. We'll take the cookie. We'll make a hawk the wreath. The cookie's too heavy. It's not going it, to It's, no not gonna it's stay a dense on. cookie. It's not going to stick on there. There's no way. Or we can draw it on the top. No, well, maybe. No. No, every door needs a doorknob. That's a fact. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not a door. Right. This looks good. They'll sit in it and around it, right? That was a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what we do with it as soon as the stream ends. Like, what are we, what are we gonna do with it? I imagine you're just gonna take bites out of it. Maybe. <laughs> you know what's bright red and would make a great Dan Hawk? Huh? What's that? Eat more vegans asked. What do you think? Oh, bacon! <laughs> oh my gosh, you sh we should make a bacon Dan. Where it looks like me, but it's in bacon. Yeah. Yes. Uh, make the clouds fluffier, dang it! It didn't really work because the icing's a little bit heavy and it was starting to drip down, so. The chat demands fluffier clouds. I can probably do the top ones a little fluffier. Oh, there's like something all over here. I can't do the window clouds fluffier though because the weight's pulling it down. Is it? Yeah, they're already starting to sag. Bacon now would be cool. Would you eat my bacon? Well, That's my new hit song! Would you eat my bacon? Or would you leave me at the altar? <laughs> you have to eat my bacon if you want to live my life. Don't quit your day job. This is Casey Queso with the number one hit, Eat My Bacon. It's working. They're fluffier. It's working. Everybody wants bacon. Everybody wants our bacon. Oh, oh. What happened? I'm gonna put my finger in it. I like this. This makes me happy. Yay. Don't look at the back of it, though. It's all naked on the back of the camera. Maybe that's what you do with all the extra coins and stars. Yeah, you decorate 360 it so you can I guess. decorate all around it. A lot of icing left. I don't uh, know what you're supposed to do with that. Leslie says much better. Thanks. There you go. Here's some payoff. Now it looks like it's snowed. It does. Um, Kevin Bacon too well back in the day. Back then, everyone wanted him. Kevin Bacon too. Well, back then, back then everyone wanted him. Right. Dan's not good if there's not punctuation. He can't figure out where, where it goes. No, I just read it like an old Texas Instruments computer. <laughs> All right, this is <laughs> it. So now what? Are we done? Is Don it? said without a doorknob, I thought the door was a drawbridge. Yeah, I guess it could have been a drawbridge. To me, it's a door, so it needed the doorknob. 
that's now sinking down. Um, I think actually in Mario 64 he opened the door to get in there. Yeah. And it went. Wah, 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 wah. This is really bothering me. Does it come off? I don't know. You can try to get it off and see. If you do, I will be zoomed in too close for comfort. Is this a little awkward, people? Oh, it's starting to come apart again. Catherine said, Merry Christmas! With, um, I can't tell who that is. It's like a ghost. Okay, I need you to hold the front on because it wants to fall. I need you to just, like, push. It's starting to sink off. I just want to stick some icing in here to kind of... Glue. It needs a flag. It does need a flag. It does not want to stay. I'm holding it. The chat and I are holding it with our chat fingers. Okay, watch out with your finger. Where's Bowser? Charlotte wants to know where Bowser's at. I know, they've missed out. Are you trying to pipe some more in there? I am, because it wants to come off. Okay. The princess is in another castle. She should have came with this set. Or Luigi. Luigi doesn't get enough love. You just gonna put it in there? I'm just squishing it in with my finger. Right, that works. Hopefully that will help. Let's do the super chat. If no Dan Hawk, maybe a Dan Hawk flag and take over the castle. How how can we make a Dan flag? Let's make a Dan flag. Draw it on some paper. Let's and do put it. Put it on a Q-tip. That's gonna a Q-tip a, a toothpick. Let's do it. We can do that. Okay. We can cut out a cardboard and just fond it on it and then stick it on there with a toothpick. Okay. I like that. I like that. What do you say, Mario? It's a me! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins? Eh. You know, whatever. You can get some lunch with that. That's enough for lunch, right? What are you thinking? Cardboard's here on this, actually, this Mario box that we got. We can cut it off of the sleeve of the Mario box. Okay. Yeah, we'll just cut it off of here and then... That's not cardboard. I won't be able to put a toothpick into it. I mean, it's, it's cardboard, but it's like thin, like paper. Right, you just like tape it to it? Eh, no biggie, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, I will say though that it's kind of like, it's kind of like, it looks kind of like a cinnamon roll topping on there. I couldn't get it flat. Not cardboard, it needs to be thin paper. But then it won't really work. This way I can put a, a toothpick into it, I think. Okay, I think it'll be okay. No, it's gonna slide down. <sighs> It's gonna be up to you, Dan. It doesn't matter. Just tape the toothpick to the back of this and we'll fondant on this piece here. Oh, okay. You're gonna fondant on it? Yeah. How's the fondant gonna stick? It's gonna stick to the cardboard. Fondant? Or not fondant. I mean, this like icing goo stuff. What's it called? Icing? It says... I think it's gonna slide off. You think it's gonna slide off? I do. <laughs> Paul, Paul, I have no ideas. So let's pull my tape. Oh, I don't know where you're... It's right behind you over here on this table. I really like this still. I keep staring at it in the camera. I don't, I know, it's okay. Smash it, Sky! With the aggression. Aggressuko. Trying to want us to smash it. Use a pen to draw on the paper. Pen, pineapple, apple, pen. That would work much better. Okay. Cause you're, the, there's nothing for the, the icing to stick to. It's just paper, so it's just gonna slide right off. It's working! I'm a little bit crafty. Yeah? Right, like the MTV flag. <laughs> okay, so you can use icing if you want. I think it's just gonna slide off. Yeah, draw you, you have to do it. I have the camera here. You draw draw like a draw oh, like a I'm not very good at that. Draw me an MTV like DTV for Dan TV or something. Or 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 a Mohawk logo. Yeah, I thought we were doing Mohawk. Yeah, Leslie said Mohawk. But so I don't do think the icing is gonna stay on it. That's what I'm telling you here. You can put an RFS on there. Use a pen! I know, but we, got, we want to use up this goo. This whoa, is, whoa. This is going to go in the trash. It's working. It's thick. 
I don't think you do it that thick. I don't really have a choice. That's true. How far forward it needs to go. It's getting kind of goopy. Is it goop.com? Yeah, I don't know how to draw like your face. I'm not you just put a dot for an eye. There you go. That's it. <laughs> That's it? That's your flag? Yeah, you can't tell if it's my hair or my big unibrow. <laughs> uh, what else would you put on there? I don't know, like more of a face? Like, doesn't your shirt have your nose? Uh, maybe, no soul patch? No, the soul patch is gone forever. Right, RFS Dan. All right, there you go. You know, you can't write RFS Dan on there. Or just he can. I like this. Yeah, no, nope. is a little bit fail. I would just do an S and be done. I know you would. So I get too close to my hawk. I can't believe how tiny this little thing is. Yes, that looks great. The castle is now officially mine. It is opened up for business. Uh, first order of business, off with your head, Crystal. Oh yeah? Yes, off with your head. Oh, it's a new regime now. It's a brand new day. Wait, what? It's a brand new day. No, look. Looks wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Take a picture, Dan. Click. All right. I'll take an RFS Dan picture. Actually, we will take it together. Can I get behind you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Mooch needed to be a part of things. He was done being left out. Bam, bam, bam. Photo shoot. BRM Bug says your logo should be a capital letter D with a mohawk on it. I've tried to draw, like, I've tried to sign cards sometimes with a D and then a mohawk on it, and it looks funky, but sometimes I, I do it. I've been drawing, like, a little picture of me afterwards, and you guys will see it after you get uh, your Christmas cards. Those things should be probably showing up by Monday. What's up, Mooch? Got anything to say before we get out of here? I'm to be a part of it. He did. Hi. Nope, doesn't even want to sniff it. He's just holding on. Look at his little hands. just hold on tight. Yep. Oh, He's Mooch. mad because I haven't snuggled him since I've been home. Mooch emojis in the chat. So that's it. We're done cooking. Or we're done making this gingerbread house. That's what the final product looks like. Ah! Uh, I don't know what's going on with, uh, with this other stuff over here. Before we go, um, I'll have Crystal bring it over here on the counter, and we'll see it with a good camera and check it out. Yeah, I can do that. It's probably not hot enough. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of... Slap it right here. We'll look at it. Looks really. You good. could probably make it with a solid layer across the top and make it more like a cookie bar. I I would rather not be so because we still have like it's still thick in here. Yes, there's lots of shortbread, but you know shortbread's good and shortbread will be a good balance I think with the tartness of the cranberry. I think it looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's got that nice little crisp to it. Where are you going? I like it. I think it looks good. Good job. And we can eat that tomorrow because it goes in the fridge? Yeah, I will stick that in the refrigerator because the cranberry is better cold. You uh -huh. can eat it now and it would be warm and fine. Like, it's it's gelatinous, like, solid enough right. that it's not going to run out if you cut a slice of it. But it's better when it's cold. The cranberry, like, jelly stuff is better cold. All right. Well, that was good. We <laughs> You have icing on your elbow. I do. Uh, I, it's like glitter. It's never going to go away. So yeah. we made the castle. We made snacks. We made spinach way. artichokes that are gone. Ow, ow, ow. And that's it. Thanks for the fun baking show live stream. Have a great night, Dana Crystal. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Yes, see you tomorrow. We'll be live at 6 o'clock p.m. for Dantix. Christmas episode. Christmas episode. We'll have Christmas questions. We will. I'm just going to stick this in here. I'll just have it sitting right here. And I'm done holding that camera for the night. For the Bye. Hi, Elisa. Bye, Elisa. <laughs>
Well, thank you for showing up. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for supporting the show. If you're not following Crystal on Getting Big with Crystal, do that so you can see recipes and dates and times for the upcoming New Year's Day. Did you tell me what we're doing? No, I don't think I did. Okay, New Year's Day uh, stream. It's going to be earlier. It'll probably be like 2 or 3 in the afternoon Pacific time. We'll figure out an exact time. Yeah, we'll figure out an exact time, and we'll let you know in advance. Also, I will be uh, keeping close eye on this thing. I don't know where we're going to hide it. Probably in the microwave tonight. But, uh, yes. yes, but we'll be Do we want to talk about what I'm making on New Year's Day? Sure, why not? It doesn't matter. Um, so New Year's Day, my family, we always do lasagna. Mm -hmm. We make lasagna. Yes. So we will be doing both a vegetarian and a meat lasagna. Okay. The vegetarian will actually be a spinach artichoke lasagna and a, what, ground meat, ground beef mm -hmm. lasagna, I guess? Or Italian sausage, I think, is supposed to be. Yeah, I'm not sure. Some sort of meat. Mooch wants to know. No, Steve, the, the lasagna will not be microwaved, I promise But you. I think Patty will be here for this. Yeah, that was going to be the special surprise guest, so thanks for running that. No. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my mom's going to come over and make it, not in the microwave. You guys have to be nice to her. She was very concerned that everybody's going to make fun of her microwaving cooking. She was <laughs> like, who's just going to make fun of me? But I promised her everybody loves her and will be nice about it. It'll be fun. I'll get to eat some. Um, Angela says, we ate a piece of our cranberry stuff. Yummy. Yay. I'm glad that you liked it. Mooch is very concerned about what you're eating. He He's, can't have these. He says that that looks like cat food kibbles, and he would like one. <laughs> <laughs> You ready to wrap this up? Yeah, I'm all done. Okay. So, yeah, thank you guys. Again, there will not be a baking show next week because it is on Christmas, but the following week on New Year's Eve weekend, we're going to be doing Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So Thursday will be New Year's Eve fun. Friday will be baking lasagna and something else, and Saturday will be Dantic. So check Facebook, Instagram, wherever you follow the things that we do to yes. see what else we're doing. Yes. We'll all right. More details. Well, that's good. Have a good night. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you next time uh, on Getting Baked with Crystal. Thank you for all the mods. If there's any left, if Steve or anybody's here. Yeah, Steve's here. All right. Well, um, if you, you guys so haven't already, please hit the thumbs up. That really helps. And don't forget to share and let your friends know to come hang out and watch us. Thanks. See you next time.